Oh, is that working? <laughs> um, hang on, guys. Just technical difficulties. Can you guys hear me? Ah, I can see. Okay, I think it's working. But I can't hear myself on the stream. Oh, there's a kerbal there. Oh, oh. Is that working? Okay, I think the audio is working. <laughs> oh, no, the audio is only in one ear. Oh my gosh, on, guys, guys just, I've had an absolute geez. nightmare with this. Can you guys hear Hang me? on, wait, let's just get it to what, the one channel. Hang oh, on. I can see, okay, I think it's uh, working. Um, oh my god. Yeah. So basically, oh. Streamlabs <clears throat> had uninstalled itself and I didn't realize. Oh, there's a there. Oh, oh. Is that working? okay. How do I? The audio's working. <laughs> oh no, the audio's only in one ear. Oh my god. How do I guys, make it? Oh, I've damn, it's normal. I think that should on, now wait, be in both. That Hang should on. be in both ears uh, now. Um, yeah, oh okay, I think God. that's fixed. So basically, Streamlabs <coughs> and, um, itself and I didn't let's just uh, fix the game capture now, because <laughs> that's uh, that's the wrong resolution, isn't it? Um, oh, damn, it's normal. I think that should now be in both um, Right, that's done. Oh my god, this is this is a disaster. Yeah. Right, that I'm gonna just resize KSP two now. And um, uh, nearly finished. <laughs> Brilliant. And that's my live stream finished. We've uh, where's the chat? I had a chat window. There it is. <laughs> I'm having to like quickly fix because I I set all this up and then I had to like I guess it uninstalled itself. Oh my god, this is this is a disaster. So I've uh, I'm gonna mute I'm, I'm mute that now. Right. I think that looks good now. I think it's fixed. Oh, what a nightmare, eh? Um, what's this button? Oh, that's cool. I can. I, I made this uh <laughs> like stream. Your we could let's just disable that. That looks a bit obnoxious, doesn't that? Although actually, that does help me center the UI. Who's hyped though, eh? Oh, I'm so disappointed. That this is now my epic launch live stream. Is me now. Fixing my broken stream. Let's just oh, nearly finished. Let's just get that resized. And KSP two, I think, is the right. I'm so sorry. I don't even know to like acknowledge anyone in the chat yet. But I don't need. I, don't need, I need to publish. Can someone in my Discord just put out everyone in the announcements for me? Um, I'll try and do that myself. Is the um, where's my live dashboard? We're almost up and running. Um, <laughs> I just opened my live dashboard and seen the mess of me, like, fixing the stream. Oh, my goodness. Such a professional YouTuber right here. Guys, I have a Patreon. Go donate to that. Oh, YouTube, I don't care. Oh, how do I start back? Start go. Okay. I hate the YouTube stream UI. It still sucks. Um, I think this looks okay. Open this. Aha. It uh, looks like it should be done. Aha, no, I need to set the game title. Yeah, I set it all up. Then I opened Streamlabs and it reset everything. So, at, like, at the final moment, I had to quickly redo everything. It was a nightmare. Uh, click everything. Tags. It's got no tags anymore. Um, oh, my gosh. I bet everyone else is, like, streaming this. And it, theirs is, like, professional and looks good. And meanwhile, there's me putting out fires <laughs> um do you want to know the reason i was so late though guys it's because i was recording a commentary for tomorrow's kerbal space program 2 video and i left it till way too late to actually uh play it uh to actually to, to stop doing that and go ahead and do my stream so i'm just gonna get the mixer up because i want to make sure that my microphone's volume there's the microphone seems quite quiet actually i think that might be okay recording a commentary we're gonna go for it it Kerbal may space well program. be the microphone may be too and quiet pilot. when we start the game we'll have a go so let's go single player we're gonna start a new campaign we're gonna put it on normal because i'm not a masochist Lown aerospace oh i didn't put a uh, live announcement on um 
on Discord. Hang on. Did did someone did one of my moderators kindly do it for me? Let's see. Uh, announcements. Why is Discord? Okay, I'll quickly do it. Um, we are now live, everyone, on YouTube. Uh, there's a link. Post. Awesome, that worked. Oh, it didn't do the out, everyone. Did that tag everyone, though? No one's reacted, so I don't know if it actually worked. There we are. That worked. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Literally, I had this all planned. It was going to be the smoothest live stream launch ever. And I haven't even been able to look at the chat yet. <laughs> and I need to put a tweet out as well, because this is going really well. I am now live on YouTube streaming KSP2. Oh, I'm going to put a hashtag. I'm going to put some hashtags. What should we do? Hashtag KSP2. Epic Gamer. Let's put a little picture on as well. Beautiful. Right. The tweet is done. The stream, I think, is working now. Uh, people are commenting, which is a good thing. Community engagement. Uh, we've got a lot of viewers as well. How is everyone? Has everyone bought the game yet? We've got a lot of people watching, and it's not a very good advertisement for my channel, this, is it? Um, okay. So, wait, wait, wait. wait. Laun Aerospace. The live one. Why is my YouTube, like... Not my YouTube live window is not live. Okay, now it's live. Okay, Kerbal Space Agency name Live Laugh Lag. Perfect, right? And what flag should we go for, guys? Um, how can I interact with the chat here? Um, I'm gonna turn my volume down a little bit actually. Um, Let's go for red, because my, my Laon Aerospace one, oh, we want the base to be white, actually, in the accent. Here you go, guys. Top tip. The base, you want to be a neutral tone, like white or gray or black, and you want the accent to be the nice color, because, uh, uh, um, oh, hang on. I'm just going to turn my volume down a little bit, actually. Uh, I've interested, just realized I was, like, testing my own audio, and then I realized that, actually, you guys might have heard the video of me, like... <laughs> Testing my audio. Sorry, apologies. I haven't live streamed in like months. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start the campaign. Oh, localized. What? Oh yeah. I I learned it. You can't have a colon. Oh. Oh, I guess you can't have an exclamation mark. But now we can go. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I've had super chats. Oh, Cookie does stuff. Donated five pounds. Thank you so much. Case will be so cool. Well, I have to. I've had a. I would have to play this game for. A little bit of time now, actually. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the loading screen's a bit rough when you first load a campaign, but afterwards, the loading times do get better. So, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, view my... Because they've updated my the, the UI for the streaming stuff. Oh, here we go, guys. Should we watch this together? Space program leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kind, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. These untold treasures may soon reveal themselves due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space. Oh my! <laughs> I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! The slides, uh, somewhere. Ahem. Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. We believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. 
That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard! There we are. <laughs> Whilst that was playing, I was literally running around my house fixing all the stuff that I didn't get. So now I have my a way of monitoring the stream audio without your stream audio without needing to uh, do it on my desktop whilst you guys are listening. And I oh, I saw someone's comment that I had my oh hang on is my mic gone? No, it's not. I I was just uh, I was I was doing damage control. Yeah. So it's uh. Right, so okay, I'm gonna mute that. So I've got my, I've got right. This is my ghetto audio monitoring setup. I'm sure there's a better way. I'm not a streamer, so um, I, I'm not, I'm not a pro at this. So I've got like headphones on with my desktop PC, so I can that you know. And then in one ear, I have a single earphone connected to my phone, which is viewing my own live stream, and that's how I'm like uh. <laughs> uh, monitoring the audio. So, yeah. Anyway, here we are at the vehicle assembly building. So, we'll do a little quick tour. This is the training center. Here we are. Isn't that cute? Uh, this page thing, I forgot to disable that, but that page is like a tutorial showing you how to get... That can be disabled. So, uh, don't worry. Anyway. Why are people saying, Matt, you're muted? Let me check my volume. No, I'm not muted. You see, I can check my audio now. I've got my amazing setup. Okay, people are still commenting. Saying... Okay, but no, people are replying to specific things I've said, so I know it's worth... No, know it's working. So yeah, I won't show you the tutorials, because, you know, that's... Uh... Oh, no, no, see, now I can hear my audio again. I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to put an earphone in my ear. I'm just going to put it around my neck and then I can just quickly whack it in and out. Right, so that was the training center. We've got the tracking station. That was really quick, right? It was a really quick loading time. Useful to have that. I don't know if I finished my point about page, but this can be disabled in the main menu when you start a campaign. I just forgot to do that. So, uh, yeah, here's Kerbin. How nice is this? And here's the... Uh, the solar system, the gang's all here. You got your Moho, your Eve, Kerbin, Juna, uh, something, I don't know what that is. And then uh, Val, apparently, but Jewel, <laughs> and Elu. Uh, now, the interesting thing about Drez, I know I just joked that saying that this doesn't exist, oh, is first of all, in that call. And look at this. I don't know if anyone's mentioned this. Possibly Scott, I feel like, would have mentioned this. But Drez has an axial tilt. Which I believe it's the in KSP one, none of the planets had axial tilts, they were all just straight up. And in KSP two, they wanted to play with it, but they didn't want to like throw anyone off and think like, oh I don't wanna we don't wanna mess anything up and make something different. So let's just do it to the planet no one visits. So Drez is the first ever planet to have an axial tilt in Kerbal's space program. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a cool thing about Drez. And it obviously has a ring as well, and the I don't actually know if the canyon's still here. Can we see the canyon anywhere? Well, we'll have to... Uh, maybe this, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe they've, like, really beefed up the canyon. Anyway, uh, we can go back. Because we need... we gotta, we got to fly something, right? Does anyone not know what axial tilt is? It's like when the planet's at a tilt. So the Earth has seasons, right? Because the Earth is tilted. So there you go. Drez is now tilted. So here we are in the vehicle assembly building. As you can see at launch, we don't have many parts. These are all the parts. JK, you have a favorites tab, which I've, I've never bothered to set. Oh, someone's gifted Matlam memberships. Thank you very much. Uh, Jax Z Merc Z, or Jax Mercs. Cover both bases. There we are. Uh, so, yeah. Can we do a new part showcase from Dude Man? Yes, we can. Uh you get command pods. Uh, so, returning ones. you got these. The uh, Mercury and the Apollo-style command pods there, which are still fused together. And they fuse together a lot smoother than they did in KSP-1. New ones. We've got a big one. This is a, a five-seat command pod. What I wanted to talk about briefly is some of these command pods have transparent glass and some do not. So, for example, the Apollo... This is a terrible idea. Let's put that one on top. The Apollo-style one, you can see inside. 
There's little chairs. And in flight, you can look in through the windows and seeing see Kerbals inside it. This one, you can't. They haven't added the transparent glass to every single pod yet, but they will. So yeah, right the returning favor, we got the lander can there. Everyone knows this one from KSP1. Similarly, you probably remember the, uh, the Capola module as well, and also the two-seat lander can, which uh, unfortunately doesn't have the doors on the side of it, like it did in KSP1. And also, it can't be changed into uh, a rover-style car. Oh, hang on, let me just... Shout out, Paige. Interrupting my stream. Um, you can't, like, set it to be a rover. Uh, command pod like it could in ksp1 but hopefully that will come then we have a really big lander can so this is a oh did i say this was a five seat one i mean it's a, oh no it is a five seat one this is a four seat yeah i could i thought i got them the wrong way around one's a five seat one's a four seat this is the four seat lander can which is great there was never really an elegant way to build four seat landers in ksp1 you kind of had to do either stack two of these things on top of each other or use like a crew the, the hitchhiker storage module but that you know didn't really uh, uh, they didn't really look that good. And it was a very heavy part for what it was. Probe cores, no one cares. There we've got the cockpits. These are really cool. And you can see the devs have prioritized transparent glass for the cockpits. Because, you know, it just looks cooler on these things. So all of these pieces, I'm now going to frantically check. But yeah, all of these pieces have transparent glass, which is uh, really cool. And then finally, we have a new one. We have a rover specific command pod. Although I can see myself making, it looks a bit like something out of BD Armory, doesn't it? Uh, I can totally see myself making some crazy rocket contraption that uses that as the command pod. Z Games just tipped uh, five dollars. Thank you very much, Drez. You're a Drez believer. Lol. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank <coughs> oh, I got a bit emotional there. Thank you so much, Drez. Pope Francis. Oh, time. The Pope has summoned the Kraken. Yes, guys. I'm afraid. Uh, even if the Pope has declared the summon, it doesn't matter. The Kraken, unfortunately, still very much lives on. But if you want to buy a Kraken Slayer hoodie, eh? My merch. Link in the description. I hope. Did I even set up the description? Oh, no. Well, I could use my... I could just open it. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to quickly... Now I've tabbed out of the game for a second. I'm just going to sort out my stream quick does the chat box disappeared oh what have i done i tried resizing stream labs and then and now it's just a black screen chat box where'd it go is the chat box disappeared for you guys um yeah the chat oh no the chat box is back it's back i don't know what i did but it's back okay so we can <laughs> panic, so panic over. Let's go. So let's build an aircraft, right? So one thing we can do is, if we go back out a second, we can do it quickly. There's very little loading times now. Um, there's no space potato hangar. We've got an aircraft control tower. Um, oh, hang on. But there's no space plane hangar. It's all just the one vehicle assembly building right now, which I think is the was always the intention. Okay, because there's a. There's no plane picture right there. Uh, so the way you can switch from rocket building mode to airplane building mode is just this button here. Orient the workspace to horizontal. And you can see there's a little box here that shows your craft kind of orientation. Changes from space plane to rocket. Or well, I guess actually it's a space plane, but, you know, vertical. <laughs> so, oh yeah, the game is out right now. I hope it's out right now, or I've just violated an NDA, haven't I? <laughs> but yeah, no, the game's out. Uh, there is a cool new trailer. Is the new trailer out? I never actually checked. I assumed the new trailer would be out. If not, again, I've probably said something I shouldn't have said. Um, oh no, I've closed YouTube on my phone, so I can no longer... I'm going to just open up Steam Kerbal Space Program 2. Oh, it's discounted, I, I think. No, it's not. It's or is it? Yeah, no. I thought it was discounted because it had a bit of green text, but it just said, Cover Space Program 2 is already in your library. Let's see, is the new trailer out? Oh, guys, the new trailer's out. It's so f it's so good. If you've got... Don't watch this stream. This stream's terrible. But um, uh, go watch the new trailer on Steam. I saw it twice when we were in Amsterdam. We watched it on the ceiling of a planetarium. Uh, it's so good. It was so funny. Right, anyway, let's build an air airplane. Um, how was the... Does the chat box gone again? Also, chat box is dead revved. Yeah, I know. I just seen. I don't know why, though. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's back. Right. 
I'm going to just keep an eye on you, chat box. Can I... It looks like it's frozen again. Oh, no. I, th I think... Well, we'll I'll keep a watch on that. <laughs> oh, I've had a th that one spirit. The Rover Man Kaban pod looks a bit like... I've got to scroll up. I missed it. It looks a little bit like the lander from Interstellar. Do you think you'll make one? Oh, yeah. I guess it kind of does. It's a bit boxier, isn't it? Uh, probably won't fly very well. It's got this big sort of uh, Adam's apple sort of thing underneath it. But, yeah, that Interstellar vessel definitely could be on the cards. But for right now... I've announced it once again. Hopefully, I can get it done for real. We're going to build an aeroplane. So, let's... Uh, oh, yeah. I was talking through the parts, wasn't I? And then I got distracted again. So, we've done all these. Oh, yeah. We've got the uh, the lawn chair as well. Why not put that there? <laughs> um, and, yeah. So, let's go to fuel tanks. So, fuel is no longer liquid fuel and oxidizer. And that's it. We now have methalox, methane, and hydrogen. So, methalox is basically liquid fuel and oxidizer. So, instead of liquid fuel, we have methane, and oxidizer is still oxidizer. So, methane and oxygen together, methalox, that's, this is liquid fuel and oxidizer. We can then scroll out, you know, a lot of returning favors, fa fa favors, favorites, you know, the bicoupler is there, the uh, the Mark III fu fuselage pieces are there. So, that's all there. And then we've got, you know, uh, the methane tanks, these are your liquid fuels, so we want that for our aircraft, don't we? Monopropellant. Now, we've got a lot of monopropellant tanks that aren't... Well, some of them are new. Like, you'll recognize this piece. But we've also got this massive one. Look at that! <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to get demonetized for making a rocket that looks like that. So, yeah. You can definitely build the uh, Austin Powers-style rocket with those tanks. Uh, so, yeah. These are the tanks there. Then we have Xenon tank. Oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, Xenon. But Xenon's a returning fuel type. You know what that is. That's for the uh, ion engine. And then we have Hydrogen. So, this is really messed up. Oh, the box is dyed. Hmm. It changed color as well. It was green and white, and now it's blue and white. So, uh, I'm not quite sure why the chat box keeps dying. If it keeps on chopping in and out and ends up being, like, really annoying, we can uh, uh, just disable it completely. But we'll, we'll stick it out. <laughs> right. So, anyway, yeah, hydrogen. So, these are, like, the small ones. Well, you guys can see it's small, medium, large, and extra large. Look how big the extra large pieces are, right? But they're not even the biggest ones, right? Look at this. Ready? Whoa! And a uh, bit of a big attachment point, considering how small the nuclear engine is, right? Oh, yeah, fuel lines. Well, we now have a big nuclear engine. Yes. Well, I guess it's actually just, you know, four, four or five nuclear engines all stuck together. There's the single one. But, yeah, that's hydrogen. Now, going back to this briefly... Let's see if I get... Uh, what's a similar size? Well, let's go with this. So this tank is a very short tank, as you can see. And it has two tons of methalox in it. Okay. The, uh, oh, the chat box is gone again. Hang on. Right. Why is this happening? If I, is there a setting? I'll just open the settings in a... Ah. Oh, I think I fixed it. Hang on, I'm just uh, just uh, just fixing the chat box. Hang on, uh, nearly finished, guys. Just talk amongst yourselves. Ba ba ba. Right, that's done. Good, 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 good. Okay. I think the chat box is fit. It has changed color once again. No, I opened the chat box settings right. And there was a box, there was a tick box that says, do you want the chat box to always be there? And I was like, yes. Maybe it's set so that um, if the chat goes really, really crazy, it just closes itself so it doesn't look all epileptic seizure inducing. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so yeah, where were we? Uh, that was two tons of fuel right there. This, which is obviously a much bigger tank, right? It's only got 0 0.6 tons of fuel because hydrogen is... It's, it's, uh, some less dense fuel type. So the, you can't really just build a carbon copy of your nuclear craft from KSP-1 because I think it's not going to have as much delta V. Granted, I haven't really tested it all that much. So I could be talking nonsense right now. But I think there's a reason the devs felt the need to add these gigantic ones. 
So anyway, let's uh, continue building this uh, this beautiful space plane, shall we? So we'll come back to engines when it comes to, but the engines, they're all returning types, and there's any new ones. This one is the Mammoth engine, so it's no longer an SLS style, you know, cluster of RS-25s. It's just a single engine bell. I don't know what it's meant to be based on. Uh, not, uh, I guess the F1, because <laughs> they, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, it's the F1. I was thinking it can't be the F1 because the Mastodon is the F1, but I don't think the Mastodon is in this game. So there you are. Because the main sail is based on the Vulcane engine, isn't it? Which is the other big single engine bell in real life. Okay, so then we got SRBs returning. Thank you guys, everyone, showing me where the uh, <laughs> launch escape system was in the comment section. Uh, jet engines are all here. You may be wondering where the rapier is. That's up here in the Methalox engines. And... Uh, yeah, monoprenant tank is this this rubbish thing is still here. Give us a you know a, a monoprenant engine that's like this, you know, that mounts just square. Anyway, then we have structural stuff. So you got your launch clamps, which you know act fairly similar to how they did in KSP one. There we are. And then engine engine plates, adapter pieces, beams. But then we've got all of these structural pieces. So we've got these big scaffolds. Oh, look at that. Some of them are massive. Look at this. Oh. This is a beautiful aircraft. Um, so you can make like an ISS style truss and like the big interplanetary ships. You would adapt to pieces between like the massive fuel tanks. Oh, Rogue Tick, the um, the, the Crayon Priest uh, gave $30 US donations. Thank you. A space plane with a mammoth engine would be hilarious. <laughs> and uh, Zorchi, the giant smoke looks like a golf ball. It does, yes. Tube. I've never built this. I've never used a tube before. That's, oh, I don't know what I've done. Remember, guys, to subscribe to this channel so you know how to play this game. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a procedural adapter piece. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that would have saved my life so many times. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I, I learned something. I, d I didn't see the tube section. So there we are. Couplers, you know what these are, but we've got a bigger radial decoupler now. I used this for tomorrow's video, in which I build and fly a space shuttle. How cool is that? Okay, next up, we've got fairings, cargo bays. Actually, we're going to get some of these out. Look at this. Hey, see what I'm doing? I'm building a second craft in the same workspace. That's a cool little feature. So you work on some sub sub-assemblies at the same time as you're working on the main vessel. And, um, oh, there we are. This space plane is coming together really nicely. Okay, and then we've got big truss structures here. Aerodynamics, oh, the best part. Uh, I'll come back to the wings uh, when it comes to constructing the wings for this space plane, but let's just add a, an intake. Let's add an intake. Whoop. There we are. Looks ugly, but whatever. Right, next up, we should probably add some wheels to this thing. These wheels are just returning from KSP-1. We, I don't think there's anything new, but the lander, this lander leg is new. Look at that. And you may have seen what I just did there. I wanted to deploy it, so you don't right-click the part to deploy it. Instead, right-clicking opens up the parts manager, and then everything is here. So uh, where's the extended? There it is. So you, you kind of so a lot of people have left that open. So as they build the craft, they just leave it. Uh, so if you want to go and change like the fuel tank, it's here, you know. So it's a bit of a it takes a bit of getting used to. I still don't really know what I like more in um, in a uh, in in Kerbal Space Room Two versus Kerbal Space Room One. If I prefer just Kerbal Space Room Kerbal Space Program 1's simplicity of just right-clicking the part you want, and then it's just there. Or KSP 2's slightly more tricky, but ultimately it's a bit cleaner. So, I, I don't know. Um, I'm interested to hear what people's feedback are. Is uh, This big wheel is returning, though it does have some nice visual improvements. It's got a big tire now. Still not really a fan of this wheel. I never really liked that wheel in KSP 1, but I do like this one. This is, um, oh, it's uh, radial symmetry is enabled instead of a mirror, but yeah, uh, I like these wheels. We'll probably cover that later in this video. Thermal, that's all still here. There's the inflatable heat shield. Boom. Hey, that's cool. I've not actually used it before. That's a nice little inflation sequence, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I haven't used it yet, because I haven't needed to, because thermal is not in the game yet. But, uh, yeah. What I might do, whilst we're um, going through the things, I'm going to go into the cargo. By the way, has the chat box died at all? I don't think it has, right? Wait a second. Has it frozen? I think the chat box is frozen. I've just noticed. Oh, no. You guys have broken the chat. 
Thanks, everyone. Now it's gone completely. Oh. It's back. There we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see everyone's, like, calling on the chat box. I, I could get, I could just get rid of the chat box. Um, I think it probably is just, it just can't handle the, uh, the number of comments coming in and it crashes. We'll go, one more go. One more go for the chat box, okay? F in, F in chat for the chat. <laughs> okay, uh, now we want a cargo payload bay. Here we go. I should put a little one in. This doesn't need to be big. Beautiful. And I think we're kind of pretty... Oh, no, the chat box is frozen again. Yeah, I think it's just it can't really handle the uh, the number of messages. I'm going to just disable the chat box, I think. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. But I can still see your chats. Don't worry. Um, right. What were we doing? Oh, yes. We were building an aircraft, weren't we? Um, this is a far cry for how I was playing this game when I was playing it in Amsterdam. I was literally just like, next to Red Bull. I was like, right, let's go. <laughs> and like, I had loads of reference images of Mon rockets that I knew would work. So I could just literally smash them all together really quickly and just build something. And uh, get videos pumped out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, by the way. Um, right. Yes, cargo bay. That's what I was going to do. So let's open it. This is the inside of the cargo bay now. I want to add some control. I'm going to add that there. We don't need it, but just to showcase it, let's add some battery. Zuh. Some batteries. There you are. That's good, doesn't it? I quite like the cleanness of the uh, the pieces as well. Um, this is an RTG now. Not that one. That is an RTG. But the one you're all used to is this one. Let's add that. Close that again. Right. And I think we're pretty good there. So let's add the bicoupler tank. I want to get rid of the oxidizer because I don't need it. Oh, hang on. Because the oxidizer is going to be provided by the intake, right? That's going to provide us the oxygen. Now we need to add some engines. Let's grab uh, a jet engine. Let's go for the uh, oh Panther or Whiplash. I think Panther. Now, one thing that doesn't work right now, but they're working on, is that this you can't use symmetry to put an engine on both nodes of the bicoupler. Uh, like you couldn't KSP1, that's a known bug and they are working on it. Okay, next up, let's um, uh, add some wings. Yes, so wings are the best. I love them. Actually, I might put, let's just put some, let's just put some more engines on. We probably need more engines, right? That's perfect. Uh, and let's just add some in, intake there and some shot, uh, shock, actually, let's add these ones. There we are, perfect. Now it is time to add struts because yes, there is no auto strut in Kerbal Space Program 2. Big, big oof, I know. But we've zoomed out there for some reason. But we got regular struts, so we can make do. Now it's time. Um, I'm still not quite used to the VAB controls. I think it's like, how do I change? I know there's a thing to change the camera, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, this is a disaster. Is that button? No. Oh, what's the camera controller? Oh, yeah. There we are. Home resets the camera. There we are. Right. So, yeah, if you have any issues with the camera in KSB2, usually it's the home button that fixes it. There we are. Right. So, now we want to add the wings. So, let's add some small wings there. Oh, hang on. There we are. And we'll add a little stabilizer. Let's add two. We are. And then let's add a little uh, control surface near the front. Now, actually, that doesn't actually look too bad, does it? But let's change them anyway. So we're going to... Oh, hang on. I pressed the wrong button. See, I'm used to, like, right-clicking stuff. Oh, uh, Boomlock gave me... Is that Czechoslovakia currency? Uh, 20? I hope I get it for my birthday. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much. Oh, I've had other chats as well I haven't been looking at. Uthris gave me $10. Thank you so much, Uthris. And uh, Rogue Tick, Space Plane, no, I already answered. I already answered you, you don't get another one. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I right-clicked again after all that. After all that kerfuffle. So we're going to click the little wrench, or spanner, for people in civilized countries. Um, let's see. So you can, so we've got loads of different options here. So you get the wing span, which is fairly self-explanatory, right? Let's, uh, let's set that to there. Wing angle, so you can have it really swept back, really swept far forward, or just like... Like a, like a boring plane. We want delta wing, right? Because that's the cool one. Maybe a little bit of swept backness. Then you've got the root length. The root is this part, and the tip is this part. So you can make the root really long if we want to. 
I don't think we need to. Ah, oh, let's pick it. That looks pretty good. And then we probably want to adjust the wing angle so it doesn't look as weird. Mm, maybe the wingspan's a bit long now. Root. Like, maybe that looks. Oh, that looks pretty good there. Okay. And then we've got this, the control surfaces. So this is the flap, basically. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there's the flap there. So that's massive, as I've learned. So we want that to be a bit shorter. I think that's fine there. And then let's do, oh, right clicked again. <laughs> it's still going to be getting used to for me. Okay. And then let's make these look less rubbish. You know, let's. Oh, what shall we do? Let's. Uh, there looks good. Wing angle. Let's sweep those bad boys back. Make it a bit longer as well. Uh, that looks that looks good to me. Mm, tip length. Maybe we want. Let's see. Oh, mm, that looks good there. I like that. Okay, and then let's go for these. Wingspan. Root length. I think maybe. I think that looks alright, doesn't it? There we are. Now, we need to add some wheels. I've just remembered, so let's do that before I forget. One piece of advice I would give you guys is uh, on your front landing gear. So let's get to the parts manager. There it is. I've got it selected. Turn off auto friction control. Set everything to zero. That will stop you playing from skidding about on takeoff. Okay, right. Let's set up an action group. So action groups are down... Um, <laughs> where, where are they again? Uh, uh, action, ah, there it is. So that is the code in the moment. So custom one. We want to add. So you have to find all the. So this is one thing that kind of is a bit annoying. It's like you got to do everything individually. Oh, there you go. We're gonna load. There we are. Cycle mode. And then do that again. Cycle mode. So I may have been experimenting with an SST that had loads of engines on it, and it took ages to set the action groups up. Maybe there's a way you can have it just do all the same thing or copy that instruction for all of them. I mean, I guess you could just do it for one engine and then you know, press Alt and click and replace it. But, you know, it's a bit clunky in it. Right, that's the uh, action group set. We've got our little chair. Let's put that. Let's put that there. Perfect. Okay, now we need to color it. So what color should we make it? Let's let the chat go crazy again. So our agency's colors, I did a very good job, did I? So we can either do the whole assembly like this, or we can have it for a specific part. Say I want it blue and white, but then maybe for the cockpit, I want blue and red. There you see, this part, then assembly, click again, make the whole thing. There we are. Oh, the wing's upside down. That's annoying. Um, can we fix that? Uh, where's, so select tool again. If I just, uh, oh. there we are. Maybe you got to place wings. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's because I'm not in mirror. There we are. Did that work? Yes, it did. So there you are, guys. That's how you can uh, fix. Right. Um, I'm seeing a lot of pinks. I'm seeing a lot of pinks. I think pink has got to be one of the colors. There we are. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. And uh, what about the other color? Pink and black. Pink and black does look pretty nice, actually. Although I don't know if I like the uh, the, the pre-coolers don't look great with the pink and white. There we are. Maybe we could have like the wings be a different color. What about what about this? Oh, now that that is pretty nice, eh? I think the engines look better. Happy with that? Oh, get the chair. There we go. Now, one thing, actually, I'm now going to ruin this because <laughs> I've got to show you guys something. There is a, um, a a transparency thing here. And by setting the transparency to uh, nothing, like this, you get bare metal. How sick is that? So if you want to build a starship or something, that's how you get the bare metal texture. I hope in Control-Z works. Control-Z does not work. So I'm going to have to recolor it. Although pink and maybe like pink and steel. Oh, I think that looks quite good, actually. This was a happy accident, guys, wasn't it? Um, we want, uh, I think the black wings would be quite good, though. Maybe the pre-coolers. Oh, no, we, we said the pre-coolers don't look good. Okay, hang on. Let's just set the pre-coolers back. 
And then I think the black engines look good. So let's do that. Now that is beautiful. So that's fine. If you can close this. Now I need to get some kerbals. We want, uh, go away, Bill. We want Jebel Dyer, I think. We want Valentina. And Bill, because you were so arrogant to sit where Jeb sits. Well, you can sit up there, my friend. And then we'll bring Bob and Tim C. Kerman. Uh, that's uh, named after one of the developers. Uh, Tim uh, Tim Cox, I think his name was. Uh, he was one of the artists on the Kerbal Space Program 2 team, but sadly passed away during the first year of development. So how now he's been um, immortalized in Kerbal Space Program 2. So that's who Tim C. Kerman is. If anyone ever wonders why he shows up. Let's just fill up the rest. As we want as many uh, tourists slash hopefully not victims as possible. And there we are. Let's launch. Oh, look at that little splash screen there. Are we ready to fly? Yes, we are, Paige. Shut up. Right. So here we are on the on the launch pad. Bill is ready to go. So there we are. Uh, I think I think I think the wheels might be too far back. You kind of want the wheels to act as a fulcrum when you lift off. So maybe the wheels should have been like here. So whatever. I'm just gonna. I don't know if I'm going to get, like, really... Um, it might be headphone warning in case I messed up the volume, just saying. Right, let's go. Okay, now I have to see if like you can still hear me over the sound of the game. Oh, look at those afterburners go. Let me get my uh, my sound check software up. So I'm gonna like my phone's not recognizing my fingerprint. I've still got Steam over the uh, Let's catch up. My phone's just uh, hopefully my screen does it. Oh, everyone's saying they can hear me. I don't trust you guys. Let me, uh, Oh, yeah, no, it sounds okay. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Just looked away. It's a little bit loud, isn't it? I think the game could just be settings, uh, audio. We probably want it a little bit louder, don't we? A little bit quieter, sorry. Maybe, maybe that's good. And can I, um, is there, a, is there an FPS counter? I don't know. Uh, user interface? Accessibility. Uh, um. Oh, by the way, if you could ever... Oh, there we are. Show FPS. Where is it? Where's the FPS? I found a bug! Nuts! <laughs> Wait. Did I, um. <laughs> Live, laugh, lag. I forgot I named my agency that. Um. Did I just not apply or something? Do I have to on? Wait, where is it? Chat, where's my FPS? It's not down here. Um, is it up here? No. Oh, by the way, your vessel controller is up here. There he is. Oh, he's so happy. Um, let's just turn off the death for a second. What's this? Wait, where is the FPS? Am I blind? Oh, there was an apply button. I, d I thought I looked for an apply button. I didn't see one. Oh, it's there. Okay. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. Uh, show FPS, apply. Um, oh, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful 20... But don't forget, I am playing this at max graphics. Um, so, oh my gosh, so I've made these. Oh, I thought that was the Elevons, but they don't have Elevons. Okay, let's just quickly uh, sort this out. So advanced controls, let's just turn it on. You know, we'll have them for roll. Actually, let's not bother. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> 
Fuck! Oh, 60 FPS. <laughs> okay, that was just a. Uh, that was just a. That was just a test. Uh, nothing to. Nothing to see. Nothing to see there. Uh, someone said my voice. We can just uh, check it. Nah, it's all fine. I just did my volume check, guys. Right. Let's just disable these. Oh, we don't want to disable them. Let's um. Which ones are they? Conversion, right. Advanced controls. We want authority limits to be quite low. There, that's probably sufficient. Okay. Here we go. Uh, for, in terms of graphic settings, I can quickly show you what I've got. Uh, this is probably safe, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 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 graphics. So I've got everything. I've ch put my resolution to 1080 because that's what I'm streaming out. So I'm going to cut on that. Uh, I've got everything basically set to high. So shadow quality you could probably lower, and you could like if it doesn't really affect the appearance, but that would I'm sure affect the performance positively. But you know, I know you guys want to see me suffer. Right. Let's do a little tour of the Kerbal Space Center. Let's do the bridge challenge. This craft is not as a uh, as, as uh, nimble as I would probably need it to be. So we can fly around. We'll do a quick fly. Right, this is terrible. Let's build a smaller plane for this because I can't really control it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, no one's going to pretend the game's optimization is, uh... Oh, hang on. People have to use my name. So. Oh, so if you want to see my specs, they're in the description. But it's pretty much as powerful as a PC you can you can build right now. Let's, uh, let's build a smaller plane. I think that looks good. We'll build the one from the title screen, right? I'm assuming the people that built that knew what they were doing, hopefully. Then maybe let's just put a couple, right? And then we'll have a little engine. Oh, hang on, yeah, I, people, I, yeah, people have said that I didn't apply the changes. Apologies. <laughs> I'm just what can I say? I'm not very good at this whole streaming thing. So I'm kind of my mind is like preoccupied. So let's build um, some more uh, wings again. So we want a small wing there. Small stabilizer here. Maybe actually we want right here, don't we? And if we want to be accurate about this, look at that. Oh, hang on, I pressed the wrong button. We can see the craft in like a 2D mode, and then we can see that I didn't put symmetry on. <laughs> so uh, that was a good catch. There we are. Right, let's just uh, make these. So we, let's do the. Let's just sort out the shape of them, and then we'll place them. I think that looks good. Right, let's move them now. Oh, I need to close this. Nope. <laughs> do you know what? I could just use the offset tool, couldn't I? So one of my contentions with the offset tool is that you can no longer hold down shift to. Um, move things beyond where you'd normally move them. Oh, actually, it looks like I can move these quite a lot. I'm holding shift. I'm not holding shift. Okay, it's the same. But um, yeah, you can't hold shift to move things as far as you want. So hopefully they add that. It's one of the things myself and others have raised as something that needs to be added. So this looks wing angle probably want like that. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Where's the control surface? Wait, did the control surface disappear? Have I added the wrong thing? Oh, I did, I think. I think I might have added the wrong thing. Hang on, guys. <laughs> Wing! There we are. There we are. And then... The wing angle... There. Wing span... Uh, oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I like that. Uh, don't want. Don't really need the control set to be that big. Let's do, let's do that. No, 
Yep, and in terms of colours, uh, let's go for a yellow base. I reckon yellow would look good. Not pink and yellow, that was horrible. Mm, yellow and black. Oh, look at that. I like that. And maybe, what about all black wing? No, that looks terrible. Uh, what about blue? Mm, light blue? Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Okay, and then let's just add some wing thingies. So, not wings, wheels. So let's add a little one down here. Oh, it's nice in the blue as well, isn't it? And then we'll add a little two, sort of, uh, here we go. Which way is it going? There we go. Two there. That's beautiful. Let's go. Let's have a sip of water. Oh, I forgot to add an intake. Hang on, guys. <laughs> um, oh, I can... Uh, hang on. All right. One thing at a time. Revert to VAB. I wonder if anyone's... Because obviously there's a bit of a delay between what I'm doing and what you guys are seeing. So I wonder if anyone is going to notice that I forgot to add a... Uh, I forgot to add a, a thingy. An intake. Oh! I like these... Um, I'm only getting 50 FPS, though, showing a still image. Interesting. Right, um, arrow, there it is. Hmm, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's, let's just get rid of this. And, oh, and get rid of that. And then we add this. That's good. Well, we'll change it to yellow to match the rest of the ship. That's good. Right, and then cut, oh, hang on, what have I done? There we are. Colors, yellow. Oh. One thing I they're going to add, they've told me, is an eyedropper. So right now I can't just get this color back. I have to um, try and color match it. So I mean, it's not a huge problem because I can just, just quickly recolor it. But yeah, that's uh, they're adding a color dropper tool. I've asked, I've requested if we can have like an, an actual hexa code as well. So we can just type in a hex value. Uh, they said they might. But they didn't sound very convincing when they said that. So I, I would have said I would really appreciate that. Because having because Planet Coast has a hex code thing. I know you guys will watch my Planet Coast videos, right? And um and that was really good. Right, let's go. Oh Paige, I know how to play the game, allegedly. There we are. It's not I haven't set the wheels up very well. I needed the front landing gear to be lower. I probably should have had the rear landing gear further forward. This is a learning experience. Oh! <laughs> okay. That was kind of my bad. Um. Yeah. Oh. It's like most like this, but it's like downtime. I'm like, oh yeah, I still need to like carry on talking and stuff. Oh, we've been live for 53 minutes. Nice. How many people are watching? I've noticed Streamlabs has just minimized itself. Um, why has that happened? Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, nice. We've got 5,624 viewers. Oh, that's more than most I've ever had on a stream. Right, let's sort these out. So we want this to go up. And then we want... No, I said that wrong way around. This needs to come down. These... These things need to come forwards. And and Wait, how does it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, what do you want? Mm. There. And then this. This. Where'd it go? <laughs> this thing needs to come down. And forwards. Did I move these forwards enough? I think that looks good. Maybe we move the wings down a bit as well. That will help. Perfect. Save. Launch. Here we go. <laughs> <coughs> the parts manager is still here. Interesting. What? Did I do all of that wrong? Oh, I did. I'm such an idiot. Uh, I was better. I did it the wrong way around. This is a disaster. 
I thought, oh, by this point, we'd be we'd be we'd be launching off the surface of Eve, coming back. Mm, people are saying the stream volume is quiet, but my if I have it any louder, my microphone will start peaking. That's the thing. Uh, so I don't want to. You can just turn your volume up, right? I've t I've tried watching my own stream on my computer and my phone. You could I just turned the volume up, so it's fine. Okay, right. So up, not that far. Now that. We want that. Mm. It's sizing because we want this thing. Because if we can actually just look at it on the ground, that might be easier rather than keep on going backwards and forwards. Uh, okay, I clearly don't know how to play this game properly yet. Can I zoom? Does that work? Ha. Huh. And then down. And then down. Oh! When you right click somewhere, that's where it centers the camera. That's good to know. I'm just learning things. Right. Aha. I feel like that looks okay. Okay, right? Let's just have the suspension like that and then we'll uh yes perfect yeah i don't know why i did it all like the wrong way around <laughs> okay and let's uh i can change the settings to make the frame rate better if you guys want uh i think it runs okay like it's viewable and then you can guys see what max graphics look like for my videos i've been running max graphics at 4k Chugs a little bit. For those part, I'm not really having any issues. Uh, and then I can just speed the footage up anyway. So then it's always 60 FPS for you guys. Uh, right, graphics. I'm always scared about changing graphics whilst I'm like streaming or doing something though. So I think probably me... Oh, is this like recommended? Or like, oh no. Let's just do that and shadows quite don't apply. That might make the frame rate better. I don't know. Let's go. Thing is, like, I'm not as sensitive to frame rates because I'm used to Planet Coaster, which runs at like 10 FPS. <laughs> In case we won, didn't really run that well. To be fair. Oh, here we go. And then gear retract. Oh yeah, I forgot this gear doesn't retract. Here we are. So, I think I probably should have made the control surfaces a bit bigger for this plane. It isn't handling very well. Well, let's try and do the bridge challenge. Well, there goes the bridge. Let's, uh... Oh. Oh, there's a, oh here we go. The flight is still going. <laughs> oh, is the, where, is the tire going to touch the ground? Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Parked up outside the uh, a building here. The curl space is just showing you guys around, just chilling. I meant to do all of that. Oh, Forks is given uh, CHF2. I d I'm not very good with currency names, I'm afraid. Apologies, but thank you very much, Forks. Oh, I didn't actually read your comment. Can't wait for Scott Munley, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> right, where's my plane gone? Is it, is it still down here? <laughs> where's it gone? Wait, where did it go? Hmm. I'm not sure where the plane has gone, guys. Let's just load. Aha! Should we just use a stock vessel? Because I'm clearly not. I'm not very good at building planes. I don't know why I even picked a plane as the uh, the first thing we do. Luckily, we got um, stock vessels. So let's just load that. Should have just done that from the get-go, shouldn't I? Oh, that looks perf. That looks. Mm. Oh, that's the thing for the loading screen, isn't it? Let's just use this. I'm sure the people that designed it knew what they were doing more than me. Oh. I forgot to tell it to... Well, here you guys can see what the uh, the launch platform looks like. <laughs> I forgot to set the launch location as the runway. Oh, it's the countdown. <laughs> Where's the water deluge? There it is. <laughs> this is not going to go well, guys. Here we go. Can I get off this platform at all? Oh! <laughs> yes! Come on! Bounce! <laughs> Just 
Just, 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 just get it to go. Oh, it's like it's like the baby bird leaving mother's nest for the first time. Okay, this is this isn't working. Revert to launch. <laughs> Oh, I tried. I tried my best. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? There were flames below the platform. That was in interesting. Uh, oh, I pressed revert to launch. No, revert to VAB. So I can, yeah, yeah. So maybe it is like there's an ad extra effect. Interesting. I know they have um thingy. What are they called? The the uh, the water deluge, but. <laughs> Right, let's launch from a runway. There we are. So I'm hoping now, let's let's go. So I really like the. You guys got to see the uh, the countdown though, right? There we are. Oh, it just works so much better than my plane. But I have the same landing gear, so what did I do wrong? And we can actually do the landing gear here, see this? Oh, look at that. And there's that transparent glass. Isn't that cute? Right, let's do a little tour. So we've had, you guys have seen the launch pad now. I've not actually ever really flown around the uh, the Kerbal Space Center yet. I've been building rockets and stuff. Which So that's that would have been a far better topic to start with, wouldn't it? Right, bridge challenge, here we go. Oh, this is going to go way too fast. <gasps> oh, it's fine. <laughs> Bridge challenge complete. Right, next phase is going through the satellite dish. Oh, no. The uh, the remnants of my old craft <laughs> with its unalived crew. Right, let's... Uh, it doesn't corner that fast, this plane. Wow. I mean, people are saying like you should be playing. You should be playing about the FPS. Like, yeah, unfortunately, the performance. It, yeah, it, it it does. It's a shame that these, this does require quite a powerful PC and it doesn't run at like consistent frame rate. But like, do you want me to do that? Just sit and complain about the frame rate for an entire stream? Like, we get it. Every oh, what's happened to the wing? Has that always been like that? Oh no, I was looking at the wing. Oh, oh. Wait, is that not a solid ob object? Can I just fly through that? Wait, did I lose the tail on the bridge challenge? <laughs> I thought I I thought I did it. I thought I cleared it. Obviously I didn't. I mean to me like this frame rate is fine, you know. I mean obviously I've got a really small craft. But don't worry guys, like well for videos it will always look fine. Cuz I can just I'll just speed it up in post to make it 60. That's what I used to do when I first started making KSP videos. I would, um, I can't get it to turn. <laughs> uh, that's why I used to, like, play them, like, the game on a really rubbish PC. And, um, I'd have to always speed the footage up in post. And the video is really, like, four minutes long. Because they would literally take, like, ten hours to render. Now, the trees and stuff don't have collision detection yet. But they will. So there's actually something I want to check out over here. Which I speculated when I saw when I first saw pictures of the space of the Kerbal Space Center on um, what's it called um, on Twitter and stuff uh, there's a little land bridge with a gap in it over here uh, and I want to see here oh never mind am I going to crash oh can I like turn any faster this is not very mm, it's not a very mobile vehicle craft but there's this thing here, right? I want to see if you can build like a ramp, like a skate ramp, and then drive a rover um, over it. I don't know why everyone's saying press C. Is that because you want to see the IVA? Because unfortunately the game doesn't have IVA yet. Um, so that's going to be a thing that gets added. So we've got the transparent glass. So in theory, the IVA is like very much close to being done, but it's uh, it's not done yet. I think it's you know at the end of the day, it's early access. Don't buy the game if you don't like this look of it. Is like the advice that the devs themselves have said. They say like literally just wait until the game is in a state that you're you want to play it and then then buy it. And in the meantime, you just watch my videos. 
because I've got the I've got a PC that can run it well, and I've got editing software that can make it look better and play back better. So uh, yeah, let's go to the island runway. It's not a very quick plane. I think there was a faster plane in the vehicle in the space plane hangar. So let's let's land. Oh, we've got these um like helicopter slash Falcon 9 landing pads over here, which I'm gonna massively overshoot. Some rapid slowdown. Can't get it to slow down. Let's buzz the tower. Whoa! How cool is that? Oh no! It's fine. It's not fine. Just having a little stretch. I'm gonna crack open a drink. So I've got a monster energy. So that's because I'm a gamer. I really want to get sponsored by G Fuel. Now I'm now I'm an epic streamer. Yeah, I set up my entire streaming thing with five minutes to go before the game launched. Um, what else is that? I don't think I've actually really looked at the stock vessels. Hey, that's cool. Little Juno Rover. I like that. Uh, what else we got? We have a jumping flea. Oh, what's that? Kerbal K2. Is that the Kerbal X? Maybe this is the equivalent to Kerbal X. Don't like it. I'll uh, be building my own. RC Sparrow. Oh, it's RC because it's a it's a drone. That's cute. Uh, the the Crater Crusher. That's a good name for a rover. Yeah, this is much better than the rover I built <laughs> at the ESA event in like two minutes, uh, and then it crashed. But yeah, that's cool. I recognise that from the trailers. Oh, is that the Kerbal X? Maybe. That looks good. Should we go to the moon? Should we just go to the moon? I've been making a complete fool of myself, and now everyone thinks I probably don't I'm not very good at this game. Oh, let's go to Minmus. I've never been to Minmus. Let's go to Minmus. We're going to build a rocket. That's the wrong fuel tank. We want medium. That's There we are. Uh, let's stick an engine on it. Uh, I'm still used to the... Uh, one thing I hope they add soon is... Uh, what does this one look like? Oh, that's cool. Um, this is like a large... So you obviously got the, the, uh, the, the, the mammoth, the rhino. Now you have like a vacuum optimized large diameter engine. Oh, flight control. Oh, that's a bug. Pressing, I found a bug. Nurse. <laughs> um, we press new. Oh, it's uh, it's that's weird. Oh, we can we can revert to VAB. Oh, I might have broken something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll do Apollo style. <laughs> Guys. Guys, of course we're going to do Apollo style. Um, I've forgotten how to build a Minmus rocket. What, what do you need to go to Minmus again? <laughs> uh, okay, right. Let's uh, Oh, let's set the orientation to vertical as well. So, delete. Whoa, it's still doing this glitch. All right, let's, let's go to main menu. We can save without exiting, right? <laughs> There should be slow mode. Has the stream, has the stream like disabled that? Oh, it has disabled it. Literally, I set the slow mode up to forty-five seconds. There we are. Slow mode's on. Um, I did set it up, and then Streamlabs said there needs to be an update. So, it, and then everything reset. And this happened three minutes before I was going to be going live. So, um. That's why everything kind of... That's why there was that massive hassle faff thing at the beginning of the video. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh... Right, anyway. Make a starship. Hello, Matt. Seven hours till school out. That's what I mean. Streaming now so you guys can play the game. See the game if you can't, you know, um, can't play it right now. Oh! What? 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 
What? It just opened notifications. <laughs> Why? <laughs> also, I think I accidentally clicked something on like um on Streamlabs in my panic, but it looks like it's still the streams up. <laughs> so let's just pr let's just pretend that that nothing happened. Right, let's go to VAB. Oh, did you see? I just saw. Well done. You've successfully landed your first vehicle. Is the cheat menu still in? I don't think the cheat menu is. Hey, now I've got a slow mode on. Maybe I can have the chat box back. It's, uh, it's back. Okay. Yep, yeah, the the delete the delete bug has gone, so we can carry on. So let's go. So yeah, I mean, I don't think it's fair to like compare this to current state of KSV one because I'm guessing it's we're comparing it to modded KSV one as well. And this is like a, that's for one post one point game, whereas this is an early access first build first release ever. But I also understand, you know, it's a lot of money. It's fifty dollars. So it's a bit of a, you've got to make a decision about whether or not you want to buy the game or not. I would say if you're not comfortable, just wait. Until the game's in a, in a position where, um, you know, it's in a state that you're happy with. But I'm not going to sit here and complain about it on stream like you guys seem to want me to. Because I feel like that's not going to be a very fun stream to watch. Now, I want to see if I can set up this. Can I enable staging on this? I don't think I can. So what I'll do is do this. Separator. We want that this way up, don't we? And then engines. It's exciting. I've never used a launch escape system before. There we are. People asking for an FPS counter. There's an FPS counter in the corner. It's sort of hard to see with the parts catalog there. But you can see it when we launch. Okay. We want a poodle engine. And then this is a horrible color scheme. I know we're going to fix all this. But then we want a separator. Uh, that will do. And we want a uh, thing. Uh, docking port again. Docking ports. Oh, there we go. I'm still like trying to figure out the uh, the the layout, the lay of the land. That's definitely the right size up there. Cool. Then we're gonna uh, build a lander. Let's use this one. Oh, this is stream. I'm keeping it safe because I don't <laughs> build something and then it doesn't work and then it's like really embarrassing. Uh, medium. That was good. Cool. 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 What's this thing? Ah, we'll figure it out later. Uh, and then for the lander, we only need a terrier engine. Don't need to be any bigger than that. And then landing ground gear. Alloy, let's visit Drez from never visiting Drez Gang. <laughs> uh, thank you for the five euros as well. Uh, ground. Where's that? There it is. I feel like actually this is, this is like massively overkill, this lander. Let's put a smaller fuel tank on it. <laughs> Uh, that's a famous last word, isn't it? Well, that is no, that there's a smaller fuel tank now. Oh, is that? Oh, it's interesting that that isn't flush. Oh, there's a leg over there. Now, can I see my delta V? There's a delta V there. So can I? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Matt, you don't need to use a stack separator on the docking ports. That's true. Uh, I I can't remember, though. I, f I feel like I tested it and that is the case, but I can't also quite remember, so I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> but no, I don't think you do need a stack separator for docking ports, no. And you obviously don't for KSP1. I can't remember if you did for KSP2 or not. I don't think you do, but let's not risk it. So we want to, let's see, make this a separate thing. 
And how do I switch to building this? See, I'm like now learning the controls as well. There'll be 2,000. So what's that in? Is that in an atmosphere? Or is that... Hmm. Let's assume it's enough <laughs> and continue with the build. Right, then we're going to add the, uh, the rocket underneath. So let's see, couplers, medium, why not? Oh, that's a cool little procedural fairing thing. Ah, oh, these legs are upside down, and also they're the wrong legs. And we we'll, should probably add all the other stuff we need to before I carry on building. Yeah, I saw a medium and assumed that was... Oh, yeah, those are the... Because obviously I forgot there's now the larger landing gear. Like, that's the large landing gear for KSV-1. And now it's only the medium ones. So let's make sure that extends below the engine bell. You see, this is why we check. Perfect. Uh, what is, oh, hang on. Here we are now. Where's extended? There it is. Right, let's add a little ladder as well. Only needs to be small. I need one of them as well. There we are. That's perfect. Add a couple of lights. Why not? And uh, we probably want those to be angled, right? Boom. Oh, in that, in that flash. Right. And then we need some sort of electrical generation. Well, we can use... We don't need RCS. We'll use the loud and lazy method of docking. Famous last words. <laughs> Let's uh, add some electric stuff. So electrical is all here. So we'll add a couple of beefy batteries to here. And add a couple of solar panels as well. And then we probably want to add... We can just add some flush solar panels to the lander. Don't need particularly big ones, do we? And maybe like a little battery. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. The yellow's growing on me, you know, this yellow color. So have I forgotten anything? Yes, I have. I forgot parachutes. <laughs> uh, which one is it? Those are the radial ones. Perfect. Have I forgotten anything else? We've got solar panels, batteries, parachutes, launch escape system. I think that's good, isn't it? Okay, next. We're going to add a fairing. No, we're not. We're not. We're gonna add, we're gonna add a, we'll add a fairing base. Where is the payload? There it is. But then we want to add struts. You need to have an ungodly amount of struts in KSV2. Oh. Still kind of get used to the controls. Okay, and then we want more struts like here, I guess. That's probably good enough, isn't it? Hopefully. Right, next up, we're going to build up this fairing. So we want to build it out. Mm, yeah, that's good. Oh, hang on. I wanted to carry on building. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, now, why is it colliding with something? I'm not a fan of the fairings in KSP2. They were better in KSP1. I think this is just like... It just feels like an unnecessary extra step, this thing. Go on. Go on. There we go. Now, can I close it? I don't know if you can have it close around. I'm not sure. We're going to have to just enclose the entire stack, though. No, because I, I, did, I did do a fairing that closed around the stack before. How did I do that? I'll just try that. Go it close. Close. 
<laughs> it's just, um, it looks like a banana, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know how to build fairing. Oh, I've, we'll, we don't need a fairing. It's fine. <laughs> there was a tube. What are, what are these things? No, that didn't work. XL? No, nah, that didn't work either. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just wing it without a fairing. That's probably a terrible idea. Oop. I tell you what we can do. I tell you what might work. Is if we just build this rocket to be way overkill. Which, you know, is always a good plan, right? Let's add a large fairing. I'm pretty sure that's how I, I'm pretty sure I'm just building the rocket I built in KSP1 before. <laughs> just, oh. Ugh. Ugh. There we are. And close. That looks perfect. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was thinking I just could have just ticked it. That's just, I've built a bucket is what I've built there. Oh. Oh, you know, it's fine. Looks okay. I think I just need to have a sit down and play around with fairings. Well, reaction wheels, that's a good point. Although I since learned a few things. Oh my god, people are saying it needs to be louder. Just turn your volume up. It's fine. I've listened to this on my laptop, my PC, and my phone. I can hear myself. <laughs> okay, where's RCS? Uh, it's here. Right. Next up, let's add a Metalox fuel tank. That's too big. <laughs> oh, miss. This rocket is so big. It's way too big. It's way more than it needs to be. But it's fine, you know? That's, that's, that's half the fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a rhino engine for this. A uh, coupler again. Large. Let's just whack. Whack a couple of these things on. I always like to add a little one. Just to have like the pattern at the bottom. Although that's me in like the uh, playing KSP1. The textures are different now. Engines, there we are. And then where's the mammoth? For real, I've like, literally, I think I've just built the... I'm like, setting my ways, and sometimes I'll just actually just build the same rock I've built before. <laughs> We're like, oh no, I've just built this. It's fine, though. We'll add a couple of things. We want control surfaces. I think that's what we want. And let's just add... Oh, Perfect. And there we have it. Oh, we didn't add struts to the fairing base. Where's struts? Let's just add some to... Uh, oh, sorry guys, you can't really hear, see now. There you go. That, that, hopefully that works. Right. <coughs> Color scheme. Let's go. Let's start with a uh, black and white, the classic. Let's see, I could, you know, I quite like the yellow. You know, <laughs> um, let's go with yellow. I liked the yellow. Maybe for the first stage. I tell you what. Let's just do this. First stage. Orange and black. I thought that was nice. Maybe like, maybe like orange and like navy blue. No, that looks terrible. What about orange and... St what about just steel? Oh, that's cool. I like that. So that could, the first should be a steel rocket. I think the fins would need to be their own thing, though. Let's make those, like... That. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Then we'll add a little color... F little flash splash of color there. Yeah, I think that... Uh... uh. I was going to say, isn't that, is the fairing? Oh, that's the shroud. Fairing? No. Nah, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's have the second stage. Let's go a bit of orange. 
Uh, let's change the fairing color. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's looking good. I like that. The mothership. Let's give that a nice splash. I think we want the base to be a nice light color. That's cool. Although, maybe like a maybe like a green, green and blue. No, I'm not. Maybe a different shade of blue. No, the green looks horrible today. <laughs> uh, well, you guys wanted pink earlier. The oh, that looks good. Maybe like a uh, darker. Not a fan of that shade of pink. Uh, can we make it any lighter? Like a pastely color. That's good. And then the lander I can't see. So we'll just leave that bare metal. Because I can't be bothered. Right. And um, hopefully this goes better. Oh, man. This is so, rock is so ugly. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just make the first stage a color. There. That looks... Let's just make it... Nah. Nah. Let... This just looks better. But you have no... Oh. oh, no. There. That just looks better. <laughs> but my fairing! <coughs> well, 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 the fairing is gone. We may as well add some struts. Sorry, guys. I got a bit of a chesty cough, by the way. So if I hear me, like, clearing my throat a lot. Apologies. What are you adding the stuff? Hopefully, they'll be fine. Right, let's try and speed run this fairing construction. I really don't know why fairings are like this now. It was fine before. <laughs> Uh, uh, there. Oh. See this thing. Has anyone figured out how to uh, get fairings? I don't think that actually works. That's just a bucket, isn't it? It's fine. Right. Let's manage our kerbals. Bob, Jeb, uh, Jeb, Jeb. Get in. Get in, Jeb. Here we are. We're launching. <clears throat> yes, Paige, I'm ready to fly. All right, guys, listen to this countdown. That's a big rocket. We're going to Minmus. Guys, it was uh, how long? An hour and a half into the stream, we finally launched rocket. Now, I just had a uh, a problem, a glitch, where I was trying to stay at the rocket and WASD wasn't doing anything. That's because the game has changed the controls to be J, K, L, and I. So I'm now steering it with J, K, L, and I. So if you encounter this bug, where when you're flying a rocket in KSP2, WASD stops responding. Just switch over to J, K, L, and I. It's a bug that we've reported. I don't know how or why this happens, but now you know. You have my. I've just acknowledged you. This is kind of awkward though, because I can't really reach the, uh, the throttle keys now. But you know, it's fine. Oh. Look at those clouds, though, eh? I think I did a pretty good job. This thrust, the thrust weight ratio is pretty uh pretty good. I wonder how many people were like here for like KSP uh post uh, sorry pre 1.05 KSP's optimization was like so bad. Even in like 1.0 but then there was a patch where they upgraded the Unity engine and it became like playable. And then like for a couple of videos, oh, I haven't been watching any of my things actually, but uh, um, oh, it's in docking mode. You put it on in the VAB. Oh, how do I change that? 
Is it D? <gasps> delete! Right, guys, forget everything I just said. I figured it out. You press delete to change it from the J, K, N, L, and I from, uh, to W, A, S, D. So there we are. Beautiful. If people are saying they want to see IVA, IVA isn't in the game yet. Uh, what is our... This first stage was way too powerful with, like, barely an orbit. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. We can just drop some fuel tanks. Oh, isn't that cute? Alright, I didn't actually set this thing up. Right, that's the launch case, so you want that to be the next stage. But also, where's that decoupler? Uh, why? Oh, hang on. Uh, now we to focus on flying for a second. Uh, 85 apoplexes sounds good. Right, let's start opening things up. So that's the launch escape system. Where's the decouple for it? There. And then stage. Hey! And then we probably want to deploy this fairing, which is that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right. And then we are just... How, how's my orbit line looking? Oh, I brought so much fuel with me. It's unreal. <laughs> how much delta have I got? I've got 1,298 meters per second at this stage. I thought I'll just bring a little bit more delta than I need. Uh, just so I know I've got enough. And I've just got massively too much. Now, I want to know how well you guys can see this as we like... Wait, what's my altitude? Oh, 50,000? Yeah, we'll just leave that thing. Because uh, I don't know. It's quite dark, the in-space stuff when you're on the... Oh, Paige! Go away! Right, that's going to be like a recurring thing now, isn't it? Where she keeps... Intro oh, yeah, this bug's still here. <laughs> <sighs> but we are just cruising to space. And we're in space. Nice. So, yeah, there's a time warp zero now as well. So you can go, when you're in zero time warp, the game is basically uh, paused. So it's really useful. So you can, like, quickly set things up and change stuff and adjust fuel whilst nothing is happening. So there's no more frantic panicking whilst your craft is re-entering. You need to fix something before it falls apart. And it's a big stress. <laughs> Oop. And here we go. This is the uh, Maneuver Planner now, by the way. It's not called, they're not called Maneuver Nodes anymore. They're called Maneuver Plans. Little change. I think that change is to kind of make the game less intimidating to new players. Wait, why is it just Bob Kerman on board? Okay, they're all here. Whew, that was a close one. Have I put these two in, like, the lander can? I think I have, haven't I? It's fine. Uh, this is not a very circular orbit. It's fine. Right. I want Horizon. That's the free cam now. Let's just time warp to the daylight side of the planet so we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, there we are. Perfect. What we're going to do now is... I suppose we don't need to reconfigure the ship just yet, do we? I was about to deploy the solar panels. But I can actually just press this button here. Well, I guess not. <laughs> okay, we'll just deploy them ourselves then. Kind of a cool unfolding animation though, right? May as well leave the ship configured whilst we have... So should we go to the Mon or Minmus? Chat, decide! <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a stretch whilst you guys all <laughs> write things. Oh god, is the chat box frozen? Oh no, it's not. I was say, how long has that been like that? Alright, Falcon has said Minmus. Oh, can you build with center of lift and center of mass overlay? Yes, you can. And thank you for the, uh, uh, thank you for joining the lounge squad. Uh, Minmus, 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 Min I'm seeing a lot of Minmuses. Mon, Minmus, uh, Minmus, uh, Minmus is one. Right, let's go. Yeah, I wanted it. I've never been to Minmus. So, uh, that's going to be fun. This isn't another moon of Kerbin, by the way, this line here. This is, uh, Kerbin's sphere of influence. You can see where the Mon's sphere of influence is, Minmus is. 
So yeah, so where is Mimus? Let's make it a target. How do I do that? Do I right click? Yes, I do. There we are. So we want to create a maneuver node. Sorry, a maneuver plan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's drag that out. Oh, that's quite far. Still going. Oh, we're going to be encountering the blasted Mun. Still here to ruin my day. Now, and for, oh, it's still there. All right, hang on. Let's just let's just time warp a bit. Get rid of the Mun. Oh yeah. I don't know how to get past. This is like a weird problem. I can no longer time warp very fast. See how my time warp is grayed out? But if I go to the tracking station, I was up a quick, uh, quick um, transition by the way to the tracking station. It's uh, you know, it's it's still locked. Um, do I have to close this? But it's still locked now. Um. So, chat, can you f see a way of disabling this time warp lock? I'd really appreciate it because it's really annoying. <laughs> um. Mm. Still can't walk that fast. Let's uh, let's go to the Kerbal Space Center. So we're not even in flight mode anymore. Tracking station. It's still there. Well, does it seem to be moving faster? I don't know. It's a bit of a weird bug. So let's, uh, oh, oh, the time was a bit balked. Okay, we're, we're back to normal. Okay, right, let's uh, uh, go to Minmus. I saw you set my target, right, good. Create a new plan. See, one annoying thing is that there's no skip orbit button on the maneuver node planner or the maneuver plan maker. <laughs> Uh, so, I can't just skip orbit to a, an orbit where the mun's not in the way. So, we've asked, you know, why was that removed and can we bring it back, please? And so, the devs are going to put it back in the game. But, yeah, just to let you guys know that it's not... At the, at the, where Where's Mimus gone? Oh, where is Mimus? Oh, no, that's... the. Oh, am I just an idiot? And it wasn't the mun in the way. I was just looking at the wrong thing. I w it's pro there's non-zero chance that's the case. We're getting past the mon. Oh, yeah. My bad. I'm an idiot. Ignore everything that I've said. So, is that an encounter there? So, we're about to find out together if the orbital line glitch is still here. Because it was there when I... Yeah, it is. There's no orbital line. That's a shame. Well, we'll just do a burn to Mimus. We have to do a mid-course correction anyway. But yeah, um, I think it's going to be interesting to see the fixes the game has over the next, the first few weeks. I think there's going to be a lot of bug reports. The chat's not frozen, is it? Uh, I think the chat keeps freezing. I'm not sure. Oh no. Oh, it's sort of. No, it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay, right. Um, are we pointing towards our maneuver node? Yes, we are. And the required of is 916. We've got 922. Perfect. I guess that means we are going to be leaving debris in space. But, the, I mean, this so far is not important to me. It's just a live stream. I'm going to delete it probably after I've done this stream. Right, let's go. We're on our way to Minmus. You guys been a high chat? Yeah, the cap judge. Okay, let's just hide the chat. Don't worry, guys. I am watching the chat every now and then. There we go. Chat, chat's gone. It was quite big, actually. It was <laughs> the only to like. Now I'm like, this is a learning experience for me. Like the last time I did a stream, it was all fine. Oh god, I wasn't watching the thing. But there was like, you know. Oh hang on. Is this correct? Um. 
What? What? Oh, I've done something wrong. Oh, I didn't quick save either. Oh no! Right, let's just, we've got enough, we've got so much Delta V in this stage, it's fine. We're gonna be fine, guys. Let's just get this thing reconfigured. So where is Jeb and Val? Are they inside the command pod? Yes, they are, right, so let's get Jeb out. We're gonna salvage this mission. Oh, there's Jeb, by the way. Whoop. <laughs> Get him in the lander. Right. We now have crew. We're going to stage. Uh, right. Let's do a quick save, actually. Decouple. Okay. I'm going to switch to this vessel. Do all this stuff is. I can't remember how to... Oh, Paige! Go away! You can disable Paige. I just forgot. <laughs> right. How do I set things as my target again? Oh, I remember having trouble with this. And I couldn't figure it out. Con control from here. Okay. How do I set as my target, though? Set as target. There we are. Right, and then we'll switch to this vessel. And we'll right-click that docking port. Set as target. There we are. Now, target. And then we go... Oh, I've, it's unset my target. Hang on. Hang on. What? There we are. Uh, well, why can't I set it as my target? Oh, I've got not... I didn't have SAS turned on. Okay, so then target... Right, that's... They're both just spinning around. I'm alright. Stop. On that face target. There we are. You see, they're just... It's just fixing it. I think. Okay, hang on. Let's just go back to this ship. What's it doing? Why is it doing that? Oh, I'm making it go maneuver. I should have pressed target. My bad. It was my bad. <laughs> right, so that should be pointing towards the target. That's its target, right? Yep. We're holding target. Okay, now this one. This docking port. That's our target. And we need to face the target. Um, control from here. Oh, there we are. That's why. Where is the ship I need to point towards? Where's it gone? There it is. I think that should work now. Let's see. <laughs> oh. And look at that. The loud lazy method of docking works in Kerbal Space Program 2. Uh, this thing's getting a bit uncomfortably close, isn't it? To our solar panels. Ooh. Right. Let's just quickly turn this engine off. We also want to make sure crossfeed is disabled on here. We'll do it for both, just in case. There we are. That's deactivated. And then we want to activate this. Uh, that's the terrier. Where's the poodle? Poodle, activate. Epic. Right, we're going to quick save and figure out what on earth we're doing. Where's Minmus? Set that as target. Oh, we're probably not controlling from here, are we? Control from here. There we are. Right, that's done. Right, so, how do I, uh, it's a bit laggy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
I think having all this debris nearby is not helping things. So is that a Minmus encounter? Yes, it is. Right. I don't know how I messed up so badly the first time. Okay. Mm, maneuver node. And it's not very... It's only 47 meters per second. So it's only a... That mistake only cost me 50 uh, delta V. So we're fine. I think the game should speed up once we get clear of all this, like, junk in orbit. Honestly, guys, literally, KSP-1 was so rough when it launched. It wasn't until, like, 1 point... It was after 1.0 that they fixed the performance. It was, like, brutal. Throttle is locked up. My time was not over one. There we go. But I also get the contention, you know, because the game is expensive. You know, it's, it's one of those... I'm not going to hit that. Let's assume we're not going to hit it. Right, and um, how are we doing in terms of the, the thing? It looks like the maneuver node's balked again, isn't it? Because now it's putting me here. This is so sad. I can't... Oh! Right. We're just going to accept this Minmus encounter and circularize and just figure it out once we're there, okay? Let's go. We're on our way to Minmus. You guys, if you played KSV1 in like 2014, 2015, the frame rate was rough. But if you don't remember, I think you're looking through, it through Rose to... Oh! No! I time warped past it! Luckily, I did make a quick save. Don't worry. <laughs> Right, let's try that again. Let's watch the map screen this time, though. I think if you want to make a space station or something in low carbon orbit, do it on its own quick on its own save file. Because look, now we're not down in low carbon orbit. We have time warp available to us. So I think there must be a tracking station bug. So if there is a vessel in low carbon orbit, you can never warp faster than times a hundred, even if you're not even if you're in the tracking station. Unless I'm just being an idiot and missed something. But I didn't see anything. I was looking. Right, that looks fine. Let's just do a retrograde burn. Where is Minmus? There it is. Oh, where? Where am I? Where's Minmus? Okay, I'm just gonna watch. Do you guys see Minmus? Where is it? Is it not on the map screen? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think right now, they're basically just trying to build the framework for the game. I'm going to disable the FPS counter because it's basically all anyone's talking about. And it's like, we knew the game was going to be like rough to play. Oh! But I don't understand what you guys want from me. Do you want me to just complain about the frame rate or stream? Like, it's not, that's not a very fun thing to talk about, is it? Right, let's... But yeah, it sucks that the game takes so much horsepower to run. But it's going to get fixed. Just don't buy the game if it's not in a state that you're happy with. But I'm not sure what you want me to do. I'm not in charge of making the game. I don't really have, you know... <laughs> right, let's time warp down. Oh, and let's go here so we can see it. Oh, we can't see it too dark. Well, we're still pointing retrograde. Let's just flip down.
I think people are just not understanding, are they? Like, yeah, the FPS is bad, but like, if I have it on screen, all I see in chat is just people quoting the FPS box. We can all see the FPS is not good. There's nothing I can really do about that, guys. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about performance on stream because we can, you can see what's happening. Right, anyway, let's change some more positive things. Are we going to do any, uh, we had any super chats I've missed, by the way. Uh, I don't think I've missed any. I don't really know how the stream UI works. So let's just, uh, let's just act like the stream is fine. Right, so let's take Bob down to the surface with Jeb. Well, I can hear like music as well. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was, I also wanted to do this stream as a test to see if I should do more live streams. And I don't think I'm going to do more live streams. I don't want to have to just deal with a chat complaining about FPS the entire time. <laughs> Love you guys, but come on, like uh, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> okay. Let's... Uh, do I have enough Delta V? It doesn't say. Oh, it's gonna not got this activated. We have... Zero Delta V. That's interesting. But this has got enough, right? I think it's got enough. Let's do a quick save and then find out. We are definitely uh, pointing in the right direction. Right, right, where should we go? Is that the flats? Well, I've missed the flats. Oh, we can do more than one landing, hopefully. Let's set our velocity to surface. And let's go. Oh, no. There's a time warp lock. That's annoying. Right, when's a good time to start the retrograde? I'm just sort of, I was just silently looking at like the land mass to see if there's anything interesting. Uh, I don't really know what the thrust rate ratio is like on this lander to be fair. Uh, we should probably start burning retrograde, right? Oh no, I may have left this too late. We shall see though. Uh. Oh, some cool rocks over there. Oh, what's that? Let's go to that thing. Oh, did I just time the suicide burn almost perfectly? Oh, uh, yeah, we've got enough Delta V. <laughs> I don't know what the Delta V is, but I can see we have a lot of fuel. Like, we've barely used... We've used one-eighth of our... I think there are 16 dots there, aren't there? Someone in chat can count it for me. So what's our... Oh, we want that to set to ground level. Oh, I didn't put the lights on. There we are. Didn't really make a difference, did it? <laughs> First Minimus landing ever for me in KSP2. How about that? And there we are. Oh, page... I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> okay, and let's get a Kerbal out on EVA. Ah, oh, Daniel Snyder. Yeah, we asked this, the developers, and they took that on board, and hopefully they will add a thrust weight. Did the lander just lift off for a second? There we are. Don't the Kerbals look nice? Man, the frame rate is pretty bad, isn't it? Can I... Let's just lower some settings. Oh! I thought I pressed click to main menu. Uh, graphics. Hmm. Maybe we turn the anti-aliasing down? Oh, what was... Maybe this? Medium. 
We want that to be high. Medium. Low. Okay, let's try that. Mm, that anti-aliasing doesn't look very good. But it's running better now, eh? Oh, speaking of running... I do like the Kerbal running animations, though. That's pretty cool. Right, let's plant a flag. First Minmus site. Oop, I spelled site wrong. Here we go. Look at the little planting. Oh, I've, I need to turn the anti-aliasing back up. <laughs> Look at that. First, first flag plant. Let's try graphics. Yeah, we want that on, really. <laughs> That's better. And actually, the game feels like it runs better with that turned on. Oh, should we try and do a jump? Let's fold this away. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We'll wait for him to do his dance, then we'll try and jump. Hey! So you can see the low gravity of Minmus. Oh, let's go over there. Check out these things. I think uh, people are like saying there's no science and all that, but I think KSP1... The science was everything. Like that was the currency. That's how you, uh, uh, that's how you like unlocked things and stuff. And it's kind of like all the that was the point of going to planets and moons. But KSP two, it's a completely different game when they add colonies and resource gathering, which I appreciate you know isn't in the game right now. But when those get added, it, that that is what the game is gonna be. It's a colony building game. That's what KSP two is. It's building colonies. It's building colonies and going into Stella. That's what the game's about. So it is a fundamentally going to be a very different game to KSP1, I think. I think colonies are going to change everything. Yeah, I mean, if you want my honest opinion, yeah, like modded KSP1 probably is the better game right now. But this is literally the first release of Early Access. <laughs> But then you have to do, obviously, accept the caveat that, you know, it's a lot of money. So, only buy the game if you're comfortable with that. I do like the little puff sounds. Oh, can I touch down? Oh, well, that was an anti-climax. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I think they did say that all things don't have a collision mesh yet, but they will. But right now, it's just part of they haven't optimized that yet. So if you think the optimization isn't very good at the moment, then imagine what that would be like if they had collision on with these things. But like they said the trees around the KSE will have collision and stuff, as will the scatterer on other planets. So, oh, well, whatever. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. <laughs> yeah, which is KSP 1, like with the DLC as well. Oh no, what's happening to the lander? Never leave your landers on super. Oh my god, I'm going really fast. Oh, slow down. The rocket sounds are great. Can I go and... Oh, uh, official Uber Hexation, two euros. Can you uh, go and find the Monarch in KSP1? I don't know where it is. I know where the Monarch is based on like the location, like looking at the crater and stuff. Am I sinking? No, I'm not. It's just... It's just... Oh, no, just the suspension has just gone like super soft. Uh, auto, auto suspension? Maybe that's it. Not sure why the lander is not <laughs> right. Uh, I need to quickly go to the loo, so I'm gonna put an intermission on quickly. How do I do that?
up everyone uh, yeah you're all acting like matt made the game <laughs> yeah i don't envy the uh developers at all what's what chat have i missed let's scroll up oh no oh no oh no was it really loud <laughs> It sounded fine on my sound check, though. I've got headphones on listening to my own stream. It wasn't that loud. Let me just check. Let's just check. Oh, that was quite loud. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Apologies. Um, Let me uh, get my uh, sound check back up to real time. Let us not... We. I will fix... I will fix the intermission... Um, where, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, right. Let's set this as our target. We probably can just launch pretty much straight away, right? Huh. Is it... Is it actually orbiting? Okay, let's just switch to it. It's a bit hard to focus on. Uh, focus. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Oh, we were just jumping. Uh, tracking station. And then we want this one. Now, you got to be really careful, guys. If you accidentally click destroy here, there's no prompt saying, are you sure? It will just destroy the, uh, the, the vessel. Um... Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, did that in um <laughs> when we were playing it. And he was like, oh, I accidentally pressed to destroy. We were like, what you that for? Right. Oh, hang on. My chat's not updating. Let me just fix that. There we go. Right. Oh, I'm going the other way. Oh, I wish there was a way of turning off... Modders, let me give you some ideas. <laughs> um, if if we can um, fix this, we can just time warp whenever we want. That would be great. What's this say? There's a window. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. <laughs> ah. 
Come on, we're nearly there. Just talk about yourselves. My specs are in the description. It's a 4090. 64 gigs of RAM and a 5950X CPU. I'm fairly certain, because KSP1 was fairly um, CPU intense, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it's the GPU for KSP1, uh, KSP2, sorry. Right, anyway, let, oh my god, my engine. Well, it still seems to... Still... <laughs> Oh, that's... These are coming up. Oh, no. It's not good. Right, uh, let's um, go to the lander before we... Too late. <laughs> oh, there's an Amazon... An Amazon Prime van has pulled up outside my house. Guys, if I suddenly disappear, it's because I've... Uh, the Amazon Prime... I don't think I've ordered anything on Prime. My girlfriend might have. She's at work, so I'm sort of... How do I... Oh, right. Focus. Now? No. I must. Have, I have pressed control, don't I? That was it. I'm still not sure exactly what the controls are. If it wasn't obvious. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe for tutorials for Kerbal Space Program 2. Oh, there it is. Right, we're going to do some docking, baby. Where? Which way am I... Which way is it orbiting, actually? Oh, God. Which I forgot to check which direction it's orbiting. It's orbiting this... Uh, this oh, my gosh. <coughs> I just suddenly joked on nothing. Um, I don't know which way it's orbiting. Let's just go. Let's just fly. It's, it's kind of come towards us, right? So it's got to go... Uh, hang on. Um, which way do I need to point? This way? And then... Oh, we want to go this way, right? This looks right, does it? This looks... Wait, what node is that? Is that... So we want to, oh, we need to go a bit more this way? Oh, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Um, this way, this way, this way. Oh, it's fine, guys. Well, the Amazon man has gone back to his van. He delivered something to a different house. Just keep your ears updated. This looks fine. It's going really, really well, guys. And then we're going to just... To orbit. Oh, this is uh, beautiful, hopefully. Oh, we need to go a little bit more this way, actually. <laughs> this is like the sketchiest. Oh, but come on. I'm good, aren't I, right? That's a pretty good separation. Considering what the cards I was dealt. To all the haters who didn't think that I was going to be able to do that. Such as myself. <laughs> First time as well. So we're going to set our relative speed to our target. Point retrograde. We can retract the ladder as well. Right, and let's just uh, time warp up. Oh, we can't time warp any faster. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Scott Manley just confirmed that this on stream that this game is mining crypto in the background. I don't think that that's true. <laughs> Can we time warp faster? What's the altitude lock? Where was altitude? The it's probably like fifteen thousand. Let's hope fifteen thousand unlocks the next. Top point of time warp. Ugh. <laughs> Formula ZR. Oh my gosh, someone gave me 50 euros. Hey, my Jeff, there will be mods in early access already. I'm guessing there will be. I've played a bunch of early access titles, many much less valuable than KSP2. 
Yeah, many much less playable than Cage 2. Things will get better, guys. Just have patience. Yeah, I kind of, I do honestly see both sides of people. Oh, we got more time warp of the people feeling upset. Actually, I'm going to quickly quick save, so I'm going to sit through that again. Uh, because it's early access, and the devs have been very transparent. You know, they've let us go and play it early, and we were allowed to release videos before the release date. Review embargoes were early. They've said, look, it's not finished. Don't buy it. Like, in my interview with Nate, he said, you know, don't buy it if you're not happy with the state of it. Um, so they've been very clear that it's not a finished product right now. But also, it is $50, and it's a lot of money. So I, I understand both sides of the argument. I can't really offer an opinion, though. People are saying, oh, Matt's not being critical or, you know, whatever. Or, like, I'm not, um, you know, criticizing the game much or anything. But, like, I'm, like, a super biased source, right? You know? Because this is, like, a game I sort of play for work. So it's, I don't really, like, have a, I'm not a, I'm not a reliable person to ask. Because I'm not going to be able to give you a, a, a flat out, a, a, a a fair answer, I suppose. Anyway, let's, uh, I think we're pretty close now. Let's just do the lazy rendezvous method, right? Point towards our target. Oh, it's there. Nice. Just burn towards it and watch the nose just swing to zero. Oh, I'm still not quite used to this UI. Where's the, uh, distant? Oh, hang on. Oh. Okay, yep, it's going. We're not. What? Okay, I'm just gonna do this by eye. Because I've done something wrong, I think. How much? Oh, we've got loads of that, it's fine. Oh! Is that on pause? Yeah, we were well close. Why was the game saying I was doing miles away from it? Zero. That's good enough. Then we just point towards our target again. It is just such an easy way of docking. I love it. And then, uh, is that still if I'll be happy if um, we've still got points to target on the mothership as well? I think one thing that the game does way better than uh, KSP One is the sound design and like the, the way the music ramps up and all that, and the launch countdown, so good. Right, set this as our target. Point towards it. This is our target. Point towards it. And then we just go. Oof. And that's how you do the loud and lazy method of docking. Oh no, it didn't work. Don't worry, it did. Thanks. Right. Let's just deactivate this before I forget. Nice. Um, right, let's just go home. <laughs> so we'll control from here, make sure that's done. And turn on SAS. If you guys wonder what the SAS indicator is, look at the nodes here. This is SAS off. So they grey out. Oh, there was an SAS button there. I, I'd never noticed that. What's object cycling? Oh, maybe that's... Maybe that's why my time warp was blocked. Wait, so what happens if I go in there? Is that button there somewhere? I suspect a reason for like a lot of this. Uh, I want to quick save just in case I destroy my vessel back to, um, can I just destroy everything? Is there a toggle? Why is there so much debris? Where's this all from? <laughs> is it my struts? Because when I dis when I um decoupled something, it created loads of things. And I feel like if it was from that moment, the frame rate did get a lot worse. <laughs> um, there's definitely no like. 
toggle like a um, multiple select, right? Hmm. Oh my god, this is it not is is it is it actually destroying this? There still seems to be the same amount of I see if there's a time warp toggle button. So yeah, the UI scale is um <clears throat> Okay, let's do this. There you go. We'll just do that. Is the game run any smoother? I don't know. But I wanna like be able to time warp faster than this in the tracking station. And I don't know if Oh, what's that? Uh, click the rocket icon on the left. Now these are just my uh, these things. Unless I focus on something else. But I've still got, if I press this, it returns me to like my... So obviously still the game is considering this as like the prime thing right so i need that to basically be disabled so like we need to just be not so i don't want to press destroy what's this blue box um i'm just watching the chat to see if anyone comes up with a theory <laughs> but i don't I, I feel like i've clicked every conceivable button and nothing, uh... So, I don't know, basically. Right, anyway, let's... Oh, actually, we need to, um, get... Oh, the Kerbal is off, don't we? Oh, hang on. Not that, um... So who's... We need to get Jeb and Bob back in. So Bob... Oh, the Kerbal is not a personal parachute. Thank you for the uh, donation of $10, by the way. I thought, um, uh, Recyclops, I thought they was personal. I mean, I haven't tried. I just thought I heard someone saying that they were, they had to use it when they were playing it. Where's the hatch? Does anyone see it? I'm so used to having, like, really bright. Can I, is that a graphic setting, maybe? I don't remember seeing it. Uh, accessibility. Ooh. I'm not going to go through that now. User interface. Mm. Nah, there's no brightness. Well, we'd like a, I'd like a brightness thing so I can actually see what I'm doing. Gonna turn this around. There's the hatch. <laughs> I'm sure this is what the Apollo astronauts did. Or Gemini astronauts might be a better comparison <clears throat> okay and then uh you get jeb off so yeah probably could have phrased that better <laughs> okay oh go on mate there we are where's the hatch it would be nice if like they the kerbals like had lights on their eva Hacks. Sorry, where's the hatch? Oh, it's there. It rolled. <laughs> Aha. Right, we can quick save now all the gangs on board. Let's point pro raid along our orbit. Uh, where are we? You know what? I'm just going to burn. I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's just burn. Oh, hang on. We've lost control. Why was that? Disaster strikes. Let's try that one more time. Oh. It just seems to be spinning us. Oh, because the engine. What? That's never happened to me before. Okay. No matter. We'll just burn slow. 
This works. <laughs> so gradually. Okay, we're just gonna time warp away. What I might do actually is uh, just wings spamming the full stop button. And there goes Minmus. That's, that was my first ever Minmus mission, guys. I'd never been to Minmus before in KSP2. Whoop. Okay. Uh, so we're going to point retrograde now. Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to quick quick save and then quick load. Hope I'm now not back on the surface of Minmus. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's it. Huh. Well, I'm still. Oh, that's uh. <laughs> I. <laughs> Guys, I'm the first YouTuber. To launch the Kerbal Space Center to orbit. How is how about that, guys? Let's <laughs> take a screenshot. Um, as you can see, Kerbin is flat. Uh, flat Ker flat Kerbin, <laughs> flat Kerbin confirmed. Uh, we did it. That was this, that was what I was planning on doing this whole stream. I was planning on launching the Kerbal Space Center to orbit. I think you'll find that we are. <laughs> That we are. Uh, do you think this might be a bug? <laughs> we are. Uh, we might. What? Well, let's just try. What happens if we try and fly away? Did I at least fix the engine? So we at least. So they kind of fixed that bug. <laughs> yeah, that that developer was like, "We're gonna kill the kraken," and then the kraken. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, can I change the camera so I can actually see it? There you go. There you are. We can actually. Well, guys, I can show you around the KS KSC now. Um, because it's here. <laughs> so, we have uh, the vehicle assembly building is here. We've got the br R and D bridge. Interesting that like the trees are part of the KSC. On as well, right? They're not like ground scatter. Well, actually, I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's look. There's a potential bridge challenge, right? See, whoop, hang on. In through the hinge. Of the satellite dish. I think, yeah, so the bridge course, it's underneath this bridge here, there, and then <laughs> I'm just, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> uh, my goodness, sorry about that. Yeah, we go, we go under this bridge here, and we fly along, then you slalom. Through these fuel tanks here. S come around the parking lot. Under the catwalks. Or hard mode. Through the levels of the parking lot. Oh my god. Someone. Oh, I've, I, the comment just. Yeah. Burnator. Oh I recognize you. Oh yeah. You're you like a, on my. Yeah. You're a channel member. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to do the bridge challenge on EVA. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, how much fuel we got? Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Bridge challenge on EVA. Oh, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> can I physics time warp? Yes, I can. What? Can I, like, is there collision? Oh, no, it just... We're not actually getting any closer, are we? It's, like, moving... Oh, no. Where's the, uh... Bob, come in! Can you hear me, Major Bob? Am I... Am I getting closer to it? I think I am, aren't I, yeah. <laughs> I 
I think people say the graphics are bad because, like, I don't think all of the textures how are here. Like, the runways are just, like, pitch black. I hope there's no collision because we're going very fast. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we're walking around. Look at this. We're going to do the bridge challenge. And we got... Oh, we can slide. Oh, oh we're, we're up. <laughs> we didn't even get to plant a flag. Do you know what? He's so slow with this. I'm just going to... I need to plant a flag though. Right, we've got to... We're gonna go. We're gonna plant a flag. Let's try this one more time. I landed in. I landed on Kerbin, while in Kerbin orbit. This is the moment, guys. Oh, can I play a sound? I don't think I've actually updated my soundboard. Uh, no, I haven't. Wait a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just play some music. Trying to think. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Does that work? Um, I'm trying to find my uh, the uh, the sound. Yes. <laughs> I'll turn the sound, turn the music off. <laughs> Anyone just joining right now? He's not gonna plant his flag. Oh, he is planting a flag. There's just no flag there. Is the flag? Where's the flag? There's no flag. That's. I didn't think it was going to have... I, I honestly thought I would, like, just fly through. That's so funny. Right. Uh, how... Oh, it's rough. Come on. You can fly. What happens if he just jumps? Oh, yeah, there you go. Interesting. <laughs> Let's just uh, go back to the ship. <laughs> Are we getting any close? It's a long way away. I think we spent so long messing around. <gasps> oh no, we spent so long messing around in the KSC that um, our ship has flown away. <laughs> no! How many times am I going to strand every mission I've done? My first MUN landing, I left the Kerbal. Tomorrow's video, I also ended up leaving a Kerbal. Oh, we haven't got really hot. Alright, we're just going to time warp now. What's our speed? Oh, we're going quite fast. Uh, where's the ship? Oh, there it is. Slow down. Oh! <gasps> no! It crashed! It crashed into the Global Space Center! Oh! He had to just watch his friends die! Oh, we can't... Oh! Oh, no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, is it just? I think the chat's just caught up to it. 
<laughs> Seeing all the messages coming now from right in front. <laughs> well, we can um just get him to land. Um. Well, we can do the bridge challenge now. <laughs> now we've like floated closer to the bridge. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's very sad for poor Bill. Are we still traveling? Oh, I didn't set. Relative to the surface, we're going very fast. Oh, never mind. Relative to the surface of what? Oh, Kerbin, I guess. Um. Let's just run over here. Oh my. What happens if we go to the tracking... Is it in the tracking station? Is the KSC in the tracking station? There's a lot of debris. Oh! Who is this? How do I see the name of this Kerbal? Oh, it's Bob. I thought for a second this was like a survivor. <laughs> oh, that was so sad. I mean, we can just do a quick load. Let's just do a quick load. <laughs> oh, imagine someone seeing this for the first time with no context. I'm seeing it with context. <laughs> oh, someone tipped $50. The adventure of the space plane Mammoth Mark 1 was a failure attempting phase 2. I wish you luck, Road Tick. Right. Okay, well, the Kerbal Space Center is still here. Let's try and do the bridge challenge using the the ship. <laughs> oh, we should have... Oh, we got RCS. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, this is like so janky, isn't it? <laughs> but hey, look, the uh, the engine, it's attached now. <laughs> right, go! Oh, that was it's cool, isn't it? We just flip around. <laughs> Are we not moving towards it anymore? Oh. Interesting. We should probably point um, away from it. Let's just let's just go. Let's just leave. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to crash into it. I don't want to live that trauma again. Oh, it's just still just spinning. Am I controlling from here? Oh. Retrograde. Are we gonna? That looks like anti-target, though. Where's the retro... Why am I not pointing retrograde? I'm really confused. Like, I've set it to auto-SAS to retrograde. And the ship isn't going that way. Oh, well, here we go. It sort of is, actually. We'll do the trick where we just... Uh, time warp quickly. And our time warp. And then retrograde. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Let's go. <laughs> and we'll see if we are... Oh. Yep, we're definitely pointing in the right direction. Oh, but is it going to...
<laughs> I would just sort of avoid the uh Just gotta turn the UI off. <laughs> I'm taking some screenshots. Apologies if you're uh oh Oh no Oh yeah, but hang on. Our robot to line is still fine. <laughs> I'm just taking some screenshots, this is so funny. <laughs> Whoops. That's hilarious. <laughs> just post the screenshot. Did I just beat the game? <laughs> I just got the Kerbal Space Center to orbit. Um, what is my periapsis around curving? Is it low enough? No, not yet. Almost, though. Oh, I can just look here, actually, can't I? There we are. Perfect. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> this is really scary. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. Calm. We can fix this. Activate this engine. Okay, we're fine. Oh, see you later, Kerbal Space Center. This is it. We're going away from it. Wait, where's... Can I not have them on the, the top? It seems weird that they're not. Goodbye, Kerbal Space Center. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this. Um, I really don't know how to. I really want to see what happens to the Kerbal Space Center when we like get to Kerbin, you know. Oh, oh! I guess I time warped around and w went through my. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, oh my God! I'm so bad at time warping. Here we go. Getting closer. Uh, it's still here! <laughs> With Kermit in the background. Oh, look at that! Isn't that just the best thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I can't get over this. Wait, there's... That's the wallpaper right there. No, actually, hang on. Let's just uh, unpause. How do I get the ship to point there? Perfect. Right, pause. Let's get this perfect screenshot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. There we are. The perfect screenshot. <laughs> oh. What's what, what's a good what's a good angle? I think we can actually yeah, here we go. You can use the arrow keys to like change the camera's position, which either was a glitch, apparently it's not. You press home on the keyboard to like recenter it. <laughs> There's some meme potential there in it. The devs, we're gonna slay the Kraken. The Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. I feel like I have beaten the game. I've taken up Danny Four Twenty Sixty Two's mantle. <laughs> right, I think that's the perf. That's the thumbnail for this vod. <laughs> right. I want to see now what happens when we like enter the atmosphere. Is it gonna stay like glitched? 
I did bring parachutes, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on, right. I've definitely got no Kerbals on the lander, right? Oh, I'll just lock. There are three Kerbals in here. Yes, there are. Good. I'm kind of worried that staging is going to make the uh, the Kerbal Space Center disappear. We, we kind of have to stage, so... <laughs> the game's got the dramatic music, but then in the background, it's just like this mess. <laughs> oh no. Please don't hit the vehicle assembly building. Oh my god, are we literally going to re enter with the Kerbal Space Center? We're about to find out what happens when we deal with it. Oh, put it gone for a second, but no, it's still here. Let's just uh, see if we can change the camera. Capture. Mm. Body. That looks. This is like some inception. We'll get rid of the Pathfinder. Um, auto? Oh no! Please! We made it so far! No! <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> I wanna see. <laughs> this is it! We, we may have lost the crew. We may have lost the crew. I'm gonna watch the chat, see what, how the chat reacts to like. <laughs> Well, the Kerbal Space Center is about to re-enter. Oh, it didn't. We're just back in orbit. Oh. <laughs> just, oh, Wizard Peng. I can't read it. It's going too fast. Wizard Peng. Someone just joined. I'm wondering what's going on. Right. Well, it was working fine until we destaged and all that. So let's not. Stay. Oh, we've got to do this burn again. Well, hang on. I'm going to quickly speed run the burn. Oh, mate. You can turn faster than that. Oh, no. We're, we're pointing in the right direction anyway. Let's go. Retrograde. Just steering. Try to sort of not point towards the ground, though. I wonder if the water deluge system works in space. Bridge challenge, let's go. Oh, that's so funny. That's a great screenshot right there, isn't it? Have I uh, deorbited yet? No, not yet? No, don't point towards the ground. Why are you not pointing retrograde anymore? Um, but it's not paused. It's on there now. Retrograde now? Now will you point retrograde? First colony. <laughs> I'm giving you guys a sneak preview of orbital colonies. But hey, on the flip side, no one's complaining about the FPS anymore. <laughs> Nearly got our periapsis low. Right, our periapsis is now inside Kerbin's atmosphere. I'm going to quick save now, so I'm going to do that again. We'll try and time warp. Because when we went fast time warp, it didn't crash. Like maybe the space center keeps on refreshing itself relative to where our craft is. So if you just have the one craft, not three which we effectively have by staging. What if we landed on the Kerbal Space Center during the parachute descent, and then it lands again? <laughs> right, anyway. Oh. 
Oh, this is very sketchy. <laughs> oh no, we're going to hit the VAB, aren't we? Uh oh. Okay, hang on, right. What do I do, guys? Undock. That didn't do anything. It's just made everything worse. What if I go into the map screen? See, that fixes it. So as long as I stay in the map screen. Okay. Yes! Am I in the atmosphere? Oh, I am in the atmosphere. Oh, um, okay. Stage. Um, yes, the force of the decoupler, it means I'm going to avoid the vehicle assembly building. <laughs> oh, is it going to hit? Go on. Go on, son. Ah. Parachutes are deployed, right? Nice. Yeah, there's no re-entry thing I know, but I want to try. I added a heat shield just because I want to get into the uh, the habit of adding heat shields and stuff. Oh no, history might be repeating itself. We're getting close close to the ground. Oh, okay, we're fine. Like, to guys, I've been playing the game like this week. I haven't had any bug. This is never. I've never had a bug of this magnitude. Oh, the parachutes! <laughs> oh no, that means we're decelerating away. It's goodbye, KSC. Oh, never mind. It's back. <laughs> Guys, I'm first. Oh, oh. We're getting close to the ground, I think. Okay, that's right. First YouTuber to launch the KSC into orbit. Make sure you smash that like button, guys. What should I put into orbit next? I feel like I've... Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I feel like I've kind of peaked. That's where we've probably already got the hardest thing to launch into orbit into orbit. Oh my god, we're... It's taking a long time to re-enter it. Are we just not... Oh, well, we kind of are going lower, aren't we? It just doesn't know that we're moving because of this ridiculous thing underneath us. But I have to keep it in focus because uh, I need to make sure we're not going to hit the ground because I think that maybe having... I really, really want to land on the flying Kerbal Space Center. Like, with the, with the parachutes deploy, I'm going to try and steer us down. Or maybe get a Kerbal jump out and try and, like, land on it and just see what happens. I don't think we're going to get close to it now. Yeah, it's uh, it's rotating with us. Although, I don't want to hit this satellite dish and we're getting closer and closer to it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. <coughs> Uh-oh. We're fine. It's all fine. <laughs> How did this happen? How and why? I just want to land now. I just want to see what happens. Oh, we're getting, we're getting uncomfortably close to the... Oh, here we go. This is it. This is like... We're only a kilometer off the ground now. So what's going to happen to the Kerbal Space Center? I just get... If the stream suddenly cuts out, it's because I just got a blue screen of death or something. Uh, so yeah, the parachutes don't separate like they're doing KSP-1. That's on the priority list of things to add. <gasps> Guys, we might be going to land on the satellite dish.
Oh, please land on the satellite dish. Come on. I think we're going to do it. Try and steer it. <laughs> I still can't believe this has happened. How did this happen? It looks like the KSC has landed. Guys, I'm the first YouTuber ever to successfully launch the Kerbal Space Center into orbit and also manage to land it without parachutes as well. We've got this little scout thing next to it. It's a shame like we're kind of la la landing in the sunset. I can't see the... The satellite dish. I think the Kerbal Space Center might be sinking. Yeah, I guess it weighs a lot, right? Yeah, the, the vehicle assembly building is disappearing into the ground. Well. How high are we now? Oh, we're very close. Now, this is cool. The sounds it makes. The tumbling sounds. I know. Kind of. Oh, no. Stop rolling. Whew. Oh. And there we have it. Where's the Kerbal Space Center? One horizon, right? Oh, no. Th there, th there's the Kerbal Space Center. <laughs> so if we time warp now to the daytime. Oh, I guess it is. Are we just like in... Being eclipsed. Where are we? Um, I don't see. Oh, there it is. I mean, so where? <laughs> oh my god! I can't zoom. There we go. There's the. Uh, I think. I think I might have found a glitch, guys. Oh, time warp is on. Let's get out. Oh. I don't is the does the camera just not really know what to do? Just jump off, jab. Uh let's try and change the camera. I can't zoom out far enough. <laughs> well, here's your little tour of the Kerbal Space Center. Well, guys, I certainly had fun just then. <laughs> Let's plant a flag. No, actually, can we plant a flag on the... So what happens? Can we like, interact with it now? Oh, it's so far away. I want to see what happens if we recover this. <laughs> Borozaki, thank you for the five dollars. Right, recover. <laughs> I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> There's a screenshot. Uh, I, nurse, I found a bug. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh no. Why is the cup? Am I... Am I at the Kerbal Space Center now? The one that's... <laughs> oh, it's still here. It's still here. How do I... Hang on, tracking station. I want to go... I can't even time warp anymore. Oh, I can. Back. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what's that in the sky?
I would feel like I was gonna do another mission, but like I don't feel like we're gonna top this. I don't know how I could really outdo this. I l I've launched the Kerbal Space Center into space. <laughs> hey guys, I think I found a bug or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to the launch pad. Let's not go to that one. Um, let's go for this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bridge challenge time. Where are the bridges? They're over there. <laughs> He's got the hey. countdown. <laughs> Godspeed. Right, how do I get there? It's uh S, right? Okay, and then hard bank, hard bank, hard bank. Oh, up, 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 no, not that way. Ooh. We're alive. Stage. Oh. Godspeed. <laughs> Can I revert? Will it still be there? Should we see? Has this happened to anyone else? Someone commented saying this has happened to someone else. I wonder if you can get to the side of it. I don't want to go this Not that way, not that way, not that way. Not that way. <laughs> this way. Oh, someone commented, Andy. Oh, Andy, how you doing? Yeah, Andy was with us in um, Amsterdam. It's kind of funny. It was like Tim Dodd and his crew. And they were all wearing like Tim Dodd's merch. And I was like, are they like, are you going to like get really angry if they take those hoodies off? <laughs> That's like just so funny. This is just a mess, isn't it? Wait. I've just realized, guys. What if we go to the main menu and it's, like, still there? I can't actually stage. I'm pressing stage. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Okay. Spacebar wasn't working. I may have locked something. Okay. I think this is, like, no longer, like, funny. So let's go to the main menu. Uh, save and exit, obviously. We're about to find out. It follows you to the main menu. Oh, that's a shame. Now, if I load this, do I now have a permanent, um, a permanent glitched KSC that I can just go and explore whatever I want? Because that's quite a useful safe feature, safe file to have. Okay, I will forgive the game being laggy for this specific instance where... Oh, it's gone. That's a shame. I mean, I guess it was kind of... Uh, I guess good thing it's gone. Obviously, it's annoying that, like, um, it was laggy. There was the, 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 the massive glitch with the space center being there. I guess it makes sense it was lagging a bit, trying to render two Kerbal Space Centers out in the rocket. But like, this is alright. Like, yeah, it's not 60 FPS. The KSP1 with the mods was pretty 60 FPS, was it? I don't really remember. Yeah, what was the guy's name? The guy's, I've got his name down somewhere. <laughs> He's banned from wearing Kraken Slayer merchandise. <laughs> 
Matt Lowne, did you know Tim's going to go to the moon? No, I'd never heard of that. Is Tim going to the moon? Didn't know that. He never mentioned it to me when I met him uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> For real though, I did say to him, like, I'm really happy for you, Tim. You couldn't pay me to fly around the moon on a starship. I'm good, thanks. I don't think we're going to get to orbit somehow. There you go, there's a little aerial view. It's a Kerbal Space Center. Hmm, space bars have stopped working. Thing is, is like, I don't know if I've got, sometimes I don't know if I've got a glitch or if I'm just being an idiot. I'd like, now I've just been an idiot. I staged, thinking I could just like roll my way away, but there we are. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't think this is top Cyberpunk in glitch levels. Because Cyberpunk released as a full game under the promise that it was a full and complete game. There was a review, review embargo where you couldn't post reviews of the game before it launched. No one who had early access to it could share previews of it. Whereas this is different because they're making no secret about the fact that it's not done. It's far from being done. Reviewers were allowed to release their reviews early. Um, I was allowed to showcase footage a whole week almost before the game came out and was allowed to just talk about what I thought of it. Like, you know, it's it's not cyberpunk. It's got a long way to go. I'm not pretending that... See, now I know the layout of the Kerbal Space Center, by the way. I can see the perimeter of it. Yeah, it's got a long way to go, and I do think it is going to be, a, you know, a rough couple of months. But what the dev team are working on right now is stuff that isn't in the game. So colony, obviously, but like, but like colonies are the focal point of KSP2. And the resource gathering, setting up routes, interplanetary, multiplayer, all of these things. That's where most of the development has gone. You know, it's them putting together, the, they, it, they haven't just ported KSP1, like put, new, put a new coat, of, new coat of paint on it. It's a complete rebuild. So KSP1 didn't even have um, a moon. And the cabin was flat, and there was no sun. It was just a lens flare. And then everything was just added, like, built onto this, like, core that couldn't really, wasn't really built for that, is my understanding. Whereas, obviously, from day one, first line of code, this game was built to support multiple star systems, multiplayer, interplanetary, obviously interplanetary, but interstellar, and things like that. So, I think that's where most of the development time has gone into working on that but yeah well how long is this stream going on for now three hours i think you know three hours that's kind of a good length um for the stream for the vod uh we managed we did a lot of things we uh we went to min we flew a plane around tried the bridge challenge we went we landed on minmus for, for my first time landing on minmus. and of course we uh we got the kerbal space center to orbit that was a big win and um, and then we landed the Kerbal Space Center. And now we're about to land Tim C. Kerman. There we go. And, you know, I'll, I'll make Kerbal Space Program 2 videos. And um, what I can do, because I know the frame rate, obviously, you know, isn't good. This is what I do in Kerbal Space Program 1 videos as well. Like, my videos have got a high frame rate because I speed the footage up. And then I resync all the sound so it doesn't sound like it's been sped up. And I'll do that. I've been doing that with this. So, um, I'll, um, like, the video that's coming tomorrow, the launch, the frame rate is quite bad now. The frame rate is not normally this bad for me. I think the poor game, this save file has just been cursed now. The, K the KSC is probably out there somewhere, orbiting again. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've just been basically, uh, just speeding up the footage and, uh, and then it looks like it's running at like 60 FPS. So the vision wise, visual wise for you guys watching these videos, the game will be at 4K on max settings right now. It's on like medium settings. And it's going to have some color correction. And it's all good. So yeah, when are you going to go to the Mun? I've already been to the Mun. I did a video on Monday of me going to the Mun. Uh, tomorrow, going to be space shuttles. And there's going to be a blooper video on my second channel as well. So uh, you can subscribe to Matlan 2. 
Uh, go and buy a Kraken Slayer hoodie if you want to you know, protect yourself from glitches. That's probably why I had that glitch, to be fair. I'm not wearing my Kraken Slayer merch, so you can get that from the description. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to, once I've touched down, that'll be kind of the end of the stream. So, uh, let's get, get all your thoughts out. I think it's medium settings anyway. There, it does, I know I've like, the you know, the frame rate has been not great. Oh, there you go. The frame rate's fine again. There we go. And there he is. Hey, isn't that cool? He's got like little footsteps. Is it better than Among Us? That was my big question. I think when we got multiplayer, we can actually do a Among Us, can't we? <laughs> Let's plant a flag. Kraken returns. <laughs> what should I call the VOD? Putting the Kerbal Space Center in orbit! <coughs> there we are. Oh, I have been like hacking and coughing throughout the stream as well. So this has been quite taxing on my voice because I've got a bit of a cold. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I guess you know, people want to hear my conclusions and thoughts on KSP2 and stuff. And I think, you know, first of all, like people ask me, do I think I, I should buy it? Like, should I buy it, Matt, and all that? And like, well. I can't give you an unbiased opinion, right? Because I'm like, literally, this is like my job to play the game. So it's like, I'm not going to, I, you know, you guys get it. I'm not a reliable, so I'm going to be biased. Even if I try and not be biased, I still want you, you guys would have no reason to believe me anyway. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I think you should look at it, see, kind of watch videos, watch my videos, watch everyone else's videos. Have a look, see what we're doing, see what the game, see the state the game is in, and decide if it's in a state that you want to pay for it. If you don't want to pay for it right now, then just wait. Literally, I have complete faith in this development team. I've spoken to them on and off camera about what they want to do. And the game sounds like it's going to be amazing once all the big stuff that's not in it right now is added. So that's kind of it. If you don't want to buy it right now, don't. Modded KSP1 is still phenomenal. Um... And that, that's my that's my thoughts. But I will say, sound design, this game, top, top draw. And the procedural wings, I still suck at using them. I don't really know what I'm doing. But they're amazing. So, yeah. I look forward to playing this game. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. It's not perfect. It's rough around the edges. But I've been enjoying playing this game. I think maybe that's because it's a novelty, you know. But there's just a lot of things I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I'm having fun. But whether or not it's worth it to you right now, only you can answer that. And that's, uh, keep talking around in circles. So I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for all the super chats. I'm really sorry if I missed any. Uh, 